What the hell? There we go. Two for one. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you? Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. That works. I wish we could speak backwards. What is yes, you know? Yes, what? Yes, yes, you know? I could change his way an oak day. What'd you say? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Aw, oh, man. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. <laughs> okay. Technically, we're into November Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. No problem. Mission. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Boomer both? explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That could work. Get to the top. 
top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. How are you not dead? Excuse me. How? How did you not see me? Wow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho II. <laughs> Ends King Sancho II's scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will by King Sancho. I am no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish. This is going great. This is fantastic. That's not what I was expecting. Way to go, Ace. You blundered your way to within range of the pirate's jello gun. You suffocate in an impenetrable block of jello. Oh my god, Uthgird, what the heck? What on earth is wrong with her? <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. And this will probably be one of the last times I say good evening, folks, uh, at least at the start of a stream. Uh, this is my final nighttime stream, although, uh, as I've been trying to point out, I will also be doing streams. Like, I, I will continue to do monthly long streams, and I do expect they're going to overlap my current nighttime schedule for at least a bit. How much? You know, that that's all up in the air. We're going to be working on that, but I will do my best to at least get an hour or two of overlap so that we don't completely lose touch with all of our nighttime friends. Um, both you know, people who come in and watch the stream and have the ability to raid people that are only on later at night. Although there are a lot of people that start stream quite a bit later than I do. A little concerned about getting to raid them ever again. But, you know, well, this is a thing that has to happen. So we're going to see how it goes. So, yeah, we're going to do some crowd control Skyrim this evening. So let me just get crowd control started. Start session. Gonna pop over here. Okay, that looks good. And we're going to need Skyrim. So I hope everyone's had a good Monday. It hasn't really sunk in yet for me that this is the last night stream. It really hasn't. Oh, I need. Um, 
I'm so well prepared. I almost launched it from Steam. That's not going to help very much. We need to launch Vortex. Luckily, that's a pretty quick fix. All right. We're already on Skyrim, so let's get that launching. And we hopefully will be good. Okay, ah, here we go. So we're going to have some business to take care of in-game. We're going to have to address a concern you guys have had with the crowd control streams. Turns out that going around with four companions doesn't make it much fun for you guys to do stuff because it gets decimated really quickly. So we're going to drop down to two companions. We're going to keep Vilya and we're going to keep Serana. Technically, we're not actually getting rid of Lydia and Uthgird. They're just not going to be traveling with us for the time being. So let's carry on. I don't even know where we left off. It's been a little bit. I mean, it hasn't been that lo that long, all things considered, since we've last played, but it's been a bit. Uh... Oh, we're at the college. Okay. Am I now the Archmage? I think I'm the Archmage. Am I not? Oh. I don't even remember. Where are we? Quests. Yeah, I think I think I'm the Archmage. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Maybe we'll take care of this over our break, or maybe I'll just take care of it later. I was going to re-enable the mod that transforms... Um, it transforms Labyrinthian into that mage city. But I think it's probably better that we leave a little bit of time. So we'll just carry on with the stream tonight. And while I'm on break, I'll re-enable that. And so when we start streaming Skyrim again, as we inevitably will during the day streams, we'll come back and we'll have the mage city to explore instead of Labyrinthian. Okay. So the plan for getting rid of Uthgird and Lydia or, you know, uh, temporarily relieving them of the need to travel with us anyway, is we're going to bring them back to the Bannered Mare, and we're just going to tell them to wait there, and then we're going to go on without them, and they'll make their way back to wherever they originally spawned from, which won't be a long journey in Uthgird's case, because we, we joined up with her at the Bannered Mare. Lydia will be at the Arl's Palace, I assume. So they'll be easily locatable if we need their services again. And it'll all be good. So we just have to get them back there. And because this is kind of a parting of the ways for those two, we're just going to walk there instead of fast traveling or taking the carts. Everybody with us? So we will just be traveling with Vilya and with Sorana. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? It's good to see you. A little bit, little bit weird, Unstara. It, it has not even remotely begun to sink in that this is my last night stream. Oh. That's not the fireball I was hoping for. Who's there? Oh. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh. The giant came in and... Uh, did we really want to murder the giant? You might have a point about how hard it is to take on an army of followers. I kind of thought the giant was going to be a tougher thing to get rid of. Uh, not Uthgard. Not Lydia. Sarana, where are you? Just a bunch of crap. I think I'll keep the staff of Magnus. Vardenfell glass armor? Damn. Oh, she changed into it. That actually looks pretty badass. Okay, so we're just going to walk back to the Bannered Mare. Because it's kind of a parting of the ways, and then we're going to drop off Uthgird and Lydia. They can get drinks and get up to whatever they're doing, and then we'll be on our way with just Vilya and Serana. Though I am a little tempted to make it Lydia and Vilya because they have such good interactions between the two of them. But we can't leave Serana. I think that might actually literally be true. We're doing we're we're technically still in the middle of the Dawn Guard stuff. So we should probably have Serana with us. And in theory, we do want to do more of Vilya's story, so we should keep her around too. Even though I'm not really all that you know, uh not not much of a rush to get through her story. I'm okay with dragging it out out over months or even years. No, we're good. We're on a mission. It can wait. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Fort Krastav up, or Kastav up here is cleared. Though you never know when it might have respawned some stuff. Didn't we just deal with these guys? Just one zombie. Get it. There we go. Thank you, guys. Oh. Are we not? Oh, that's Serana's malignant zombie, of course. Why wouldn't she raise a malignant zombie?
One of these days, we have to actually explore inside this place, too. The outside seems to still be pretty clear. I don't think we've ever gone inside. Or if we have, we certainly didn't go far. Okay, so white run, ah, this way. Silverdrift Lair. Does anyone happen to remember what's in Silverdrift Lair? It's ringing a bell, and I can't quite put my finger on it. What is this? Wait a minute. Isn't this... I thought this was just supposed to be a tavern. Why are there all these other buildings here? Gale Inn. I'm confused. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I'm confused. I don't think I got them. Sorry, horse.
White run is this way. Okay. Oh, God. What's up, Winters? <laughs> Just a reminder, Winters, before you try and make anything interesting, we are on our way to release Lydia and Uthgird from immediate need of traveling with us by letting them go grab some drinks at the Bannered Mare. So things will be a lot more entertaining once I get back to Whiterun. Though I'm going to have to stop off at home and clear their inventories before I let them go. Oh, the cursed one is there. Okay. We want to avoid. Oh, God, Winters. So basically you're saying we should avoid going inside the Bannered Mare then. We'll just leave them outside. Okay. How are things going, Winters? It's really good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Winters. Man, she looks like a badass in the armor. It looks really good on her. Uh, okay. Oh, good. I need your stuff. What do you need to take? Everything that you're not actually currently using. Which actually it doesn't look like Okay, she actually doesn't have anything she's not currently using, so you're good. Let's go. I've got your back. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Then I have good news for you. You do have some stuff. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to steal your mace. That's actually my mace. It's going very well, Mr. Soggy Ramen. How are you doing? I have to admit, was really hoping you'd do Skyrim on your last night stream. Excellent.
I hope you had a better rest last night. I used a sleeping pill and I actually slept incredibly well and woke up early, which is good because I have to adjust my sleep schedule. And uh, yeah, it, it was good. I feel much, much better today. I thought I had daggers. I guess not. Okay. Was in a friend's chat, noticed you're live when I went to check my whispers, wanted to pop in real fast and say, hope you're well and have a great stream. Thank you so much, CD. I appreciate having you here. Have a fantastic night, and I will catch you again soon. Though, uh, probably a good time to check and make sure you're aware, CD. You know my schedule's changing, right? This is my last nighttime stream, although... Uh, I will be doing streams, like long streams of the month, that will overlap this time. So it's not the last time I'll ever be on at this time of night. Hello there. It's just the last time I'll be starting at this time of night. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Just wanted to be sure. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, crap, I have Meridia's Beacon. I forgot about that. That'll do. That, I'm not certain of, Mr. Sagi Raman. It'll be sometime during the day, but, like, I haven't decided specifically when. As a kind of a rule of thumb, I'm thinking noonish, but it might end up being 11 a.m. or 1 p.m. or something like that. I'll be letting people know in Discord. I do know that I will be streaming on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Noticed recently you've lost all your luster for solo games like Skyrim and Fallout. Well, you just got to follow what you're interested in. People change. Nope, you are correct, Winters. Thank you for uh, mentioning that. That's one of my projects I'm going to be going over during my week off is trying to see if I can get this audio situation under control. That particular thing, the game audio thing, that's a configuration issue with my stream deck, I'm sure, and not related to the audio issues I'm experiencing, but I want to try and get both of them fixed. I'm not sure how much I can actually do about the ongoing audio issues, though. Right now, I think, it, based on chat responses, I think I'm actually the only one impacted by it. It doesn't seem to really be affecting the audio that you guys get on stream, thankfully. But it's just constant. It's, you know, switching out what I hear, and it's really obnoxious. So for those of you more recently arrived in stream, we are on our way back here to Whiterun to the Bannered Mare. 
and we are going to be saying goodbye, at least temporarily, to Uthgird and Lydia. Specifically because having four companions as leveled and geared as I've got makes the crowd control less fun for you guys. So we're just going to park them by the bannered mare so they can go get drinks, and then we'll be off on our merry way. Hmm? It'll come back shortly after you lose your tolerance for other people. That's true. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm still convinced it's a Windows issue, and Ultra has actually been having Windows audio issues too, or at least some kind of audio issue. It sounds similar to what I've got going on, but I don't know for sure. Uh, Lydia. I've got your back. Wait here. As you wish, my fame. Uthgird. Uthgird. I'm still here. Yes, and please stay here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Thank you. I'm sure the guard folk of the city will appreciate that. So now I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do. But we're going on. Can I help you? We've got Serana, and we've got Vilya, and that's it. Bye, guys. Keep White Run safe for me. So what else can we do? I guess we can check our quest log, because I've got quite a few of these. Absent Antiquity. I was approached in Castle Bruma by the exasperated captain of the city guard. Oh my god, I forgot we have Bruma. That was this playthrough. Adios Vilius. The Count of Bruma, Decilius Carvain, has been endlessly complaining about the theft of his Akaviri artifact collection. Adias would be relieved if I found the heirloom so he can focus on other issues. Find a way to, precious, to, to pressure Benny, Bentior into giving more information. Retrieve Count Carvain's lost Akaviri heirlooms. Man, it's been a long time since we went to Bruma. We could do that at some point. I completely forgot that was actually this playthrough. Who's there? Get him. Done and done. Excellent. What's that green one? Emerald Swallowtail. I think there's some stuff we can do down that away. Where are we? Yeah, on the other side of the mountains, where it's really convenient. 
we haven't really done a whole lot down there yet. We're going to go down there for a while. That'll buff out. It's fine. Man, there's a lot of deer around here. North Brittleshin Pass discovered. There's nobody here. That's weird. They have books. This is a good sign. Ancestors in the Dunmer. The Book of Daedra. Ah. I know that sound. Got that handled? Mostly. Good job, guys. Skeevers and Skeletons. Skyrim's most popular tabletop role playing game. Colbin the Dragon. That's how you open up with the person who just opened your cage? Do you mind keeping that closed? Excuse me? What? You mean the cage? 
Why, yes, it's quite comfortable in here. But when it's open, there's a bit of a draft. But the cage door has holes in it. You do realize that was a job, don't you? I didn't expect my hero to like a sense of humor. So you'll come out of the cage. Maybe. I'd grow quite fond of it. The iron bars, the pattern of squares, and... Well, I guess that's it. But I do like squares. What's your name? My name is Zora Fairchild. Although it was never meant to be ironic, I was once very much a child and very much fair. So fair, in fact, that the divine saw it fit to punish me with the smart and unviable face. Always easier to blame the gods for such things, isn't it? Uh, yes, I noticed the, um, is that war paint? Oh, don't make things awkward. I am more than comfortable with my own burnt skin. It is a burn after all. I've tried washing it off to no avail. But it hides the scars. That's a good thing. Now, I wasn't always comfortable with it, but living in a cage tends to alter your perspective. Was it the necromancer who marred your face? Who no. Necromancers tend to disapprove of having their specimens damaged. I should know. This is the 11th necromancer who's enslaved me. And all 11 have been as delicate as a lord is with his finest furs. It makes me so sad to disappoint him so. I think this last one was quite excited with his find until he brushed back my hair. <sighs> I've seen that look on more than enough men to recognize it. Eleven times? Oh, I am. I do enjoy it. There is never a shortage of wizards who like to use this pass as their lair. Nor a shortage of heroes who travel through it. What sort of rescuer were you waiting for? Well, handsome, but not cute. Fine, but not mean. Tender, but not soft. Strong, but not violent. Caring, but not servile. I could go on and on. Yes, please do. Mm, I want a man who's aggressive, but not impatient. Creative. But not obsessed. And most of all, confident, but not arrogant. The best I ever knew was four of those things, but he failed the arrogance test. He didn't just cross the border between confidence and arrogance. <laughs> he rode through on a gilded carriage pulled by frantic manners. <laughs> oh, good. She's a recruitable follower. What sort of folk pass through Brittlejin? All types. Bandits, wizards, heroes and alchemists. Oh, and skeletons. They used to be all four. You carry a large weapon for a girl your size. It's not just for show. Although the necromancers seem to think so. Nobody takes me seriously. Huh, but when my weapon of choice was uh -oh. in Nara, people <laughs> Romney, how's it going? That was just a Where were you headed when you were kept? Shh. You take my <laughs> Thanks, Romney. <laughs> Paige, how's it going? I was the guy who asked about the Civ recommendation and after 16 hours of grind, want to thank you for introducing me to this masterpiece of gaming. You are most welcome, Phage. Welcome back. It's good to see you. That was a good time to join in. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Hello? Oh, 
Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure, Romney. I've never been to this area before. We were just in the middle of talking to this nice young lady here, who seems to be a recruitable potential companion, when all hell broke loose. Zora, what's up? Where were you headed when you were captured? What do you mean? Imagine a vast field of pure white, soft as a pillow wrapped in a cloud. From a distance, you might think it's snow. Yet, when you come to the lip of its feathery shore and run your fingers through crowns of ivory, you'll know you have arrived in my train. Home of Tamriel's most beautiful <laughs> and Thanks, Winters. Tundra Cotton Field. Zora's Field. As it's known to the locals. Are you sure it can survive in such a climate? I certainly hope so. It is called Tundra Cotton. Otherwise, they should have changed the name. I kind of feel like we should get her out of here, but we would just have to immediately drop her off somewhere. Is she actually a recruitable companion? I've never met her before. Uh, we're in some kind of pass. I don't remember the name of it offhand. Thank you, Howie. I appreciate the spider. I keep feeling like Fallout, but it's not multiplayer and you never feel like doing 76. You could always play it for a little bit until the lack of multiplayer gets to you. You have my steel. Okay, Zora. We'll drop you off when it's next convenient. Maybe we'll let you hang out with Uthgird and uh, Lydia. Oh. I'm not going to fall for that one. Oh. That looks like an exit. We don't really want an exit yet. Oh, it must have been Serana's Nord. To Skyrim. Okay. We need to poke around more and see what we can find. He had nothing. Oh, maybe we are done after all. I was sure I missed a turn off somewhere. The Arcturan Heresy. Last Dagger of Lightning, The Warrior's Charge, an old poem of the Red Guards, Ancestors in the Dunmer, that's a very popular book in this cave, and The Book of Daedra, another very popular book. I must admit I have a soft spot in my heart for warlords. The ones in Good Ocean Pass. One Night with the Draugr. The Raven's Tribute, Night Shift. I think I saw that movie once.
I have played quite a lot of D&D. I'm not a Magic fan, though. Uh, Zora's a character added by interesting NPCs. Well, she certainly is that. You would know, Zora. You were just held captive there for God knows how long by 11 necromancers. Where are we? Oh, okay, so we just went right through the mountain. That's convenient. What the hell is that? It looks like it needs to die. Okay, let's not swim through the water. <laughs> yeah, this is a fairly heavily modded version of Skyrim, by the way, just for those of you who have not seen me play this before. Late last year, I completed my first ever playthrough of Skyrim. I actually finished the main story. It only took me 10 years. And as soon as I was done, I went back to modding it again. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. I'm looking at Orr. Got a question for you. Your take as a Twitch streamer is replaying a YouTube streamer content without permission. Does Twitch have a policy on it? Uh, what do you mean by replaying? Should we investigate? Do you mean like just taking a YouTuber's content wholesale and streaming it on Twitch as if it were their own content or something like that? Because if that's the case, Twitch doesn't even really need to have a policy on it because that's just flat out illegal. That's a copyright violation. The YouTuber would have the right to file a copyright strike on them and get them to take it down. Just lazy to make their own content? Uh, well, yeah, regardless of the reason, if they're just literally reposting other people's content as their own, then that's maybe something technically they can do, but legally, no, they can't. That, that's, you know, that, that's, that's against the law. That's against copyright. Ember Show. Sure. Oh. Oh, we're not as far down as I thought we were. This is only the guide stones. Huh. So yeah, they uh, definitely should not be doing that. Any, they should not be doing that. I think Twitch does have a policy. But policy or no policy, the streamer, or the YouTuber rather, if they discover that their content has been used that way, they can file a DMCA complaint about it and get the content taken down again. And that'll likely give the streamer a copyright strike. There's a whole meta on YouTube at least called reaction videos. Oh, yeah, but that's not just reposting somebody's content. If they're doing reaction videos, that's different. That's, um... 
it's a lot to get into, and we have ads beginning in less than a minute, so I can't really go at length about it right now, but maybe after we get back from a quick break. Where they include themselves usually watching and commenting. Yeah, that, that's a different case on Star. That's usually a lot more permissible, and it's not really a bad thing. As to whether someone files a DMCA takedown, that's a more complicated thing. Sometimes people do them for the right reasons, and other times it's abused. Yeah, I'm just saying that if somebody takes a YouTube video and uses it somewhere else, like just as it is, without being modified in any way, then they can have a legitimate DMCA filed against them. Uh, but now, I do have to take a quick break, so if you guys will excuse me, I will be back in five minutes or less. Oh. Wow! That was brutal! Holy crap! <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it! <laughs> Sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> Back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine. I'm giving you the count of five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, folks. Those ads kind of crept up on me and caught me by surprise. Yeah, I would, uh, I mean, in order to have a take on it, I would need to know a lot more about what the specific situation is. Because it can be either good or it can be bad. And context really is everything. Thank you, Anstara. Thank you, Winters. 
Pine Watch. I will take your gold. You don't need it anymore. Oh. Skeleton Thalmor Wizard? That's very specific. Aged Elven Boots. I didn't know that elves were into aging their clothing. Cheese and wine, maybe. But. The Many-Headed Talos. I hope one day you meet Two Tails. They're my favorite interesting PC so far. Okay. I don't believe I've ever met Two Tails so far. Now, if I remember correctly, this, uh, this shrine back here is very close to the location of the house you eventually own. Which I believe is just right here, actually. Pretty sure this is the site. Hethoth's Grimoire, weak potion of magic of fortification. You know, we're kind of heading back towards the area we want to adventure in. I should probably go back to Whiterun, though, so that we can drop off What's-Her-Name, because we don't really want to just drop off our two companions, only to grab two more companions immediately. That defeats the purpose of having dropped them off. How do I get up there? Ow. Come on. Come on. Ah. I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. Who the heck are you? Calm down, tell me what happened. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. Who is she? I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guard slept. But now, I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? There's a town nearby in that direction. Do you need help getting there? Oh, thank you. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Okay. Good luck. That was weird. Never had that encounter before. Frightened woman, clearly. Thank you very much, Pog. I appreciate it.
Time to go beat up some bandits at Mistwatch. Why does Mistwatch sound familiar? Hilgen. Pine Watch. Haldir's Cairn. <laughs> Not what I was talking about, but yes, you are correct. She did just say it. Forgotten River Tomb. Where? I oh. What? <laughs> That's... She's... What? She just escaped from Mistwatch and ran into us and Mistwatch is all the way over there. That's kind of impressive. My hat's off to her. How she managed to find us before she found a town is beyond me, but, you know, I guess stranger things have happened. Okay, we're actually heading towards Helgen. We don't want to do that. Ow. Ow. Bad key. Or else there's a new pack of bandits settled in. That's true. Oh, you can't let me get this close and then stop me from going any further. Fine. We'll go the long way. So much she didn't see the village. Or any of the other signs of civilization that she must have come across. Sorry, Vilya. Wait, if we leave her at... Oh, hang on. Bandits. And they're stealing my cheese. Look at it. They've just left it right out here in the open. Like I'd never notice. Ow. Sorry, Sorana. Let's get indoors. 
And Zora. Oh, huh. didn't notice you there, sorry. Anyway, as I was saying before we were rudely interrupted by bandits stealing my cheese, if I go and leave Zora at the Bannered Mare with uh, Uthgard and Lydia, and she just eventually makes her way back to where I found her, does that mean I'm going to have to go back to the cave to get her again? I think it probably does. But who knows, maybe she'll find another interesting necromancer and rescuer that she can occupy her time with. Suddenly vampires. And what the heck is with this outfit? This is the snazziest dressed vampire I've ever encountered in Skyrim. And she's got a freaking glass scimitar? Sea dog armor? What? Damn. Don't know if I like this. Why even be a vampire if you're not going to dress nazi as heck? That's true. That's very true. Um. Uh -oh. What the hell is that? guys.
All right. What the heck? Um, Delia. It's so nice to just talk a little, you and I. I was just thinking, would you be interested if I told you a little about myself? Oh, I guess we've put it off too long. Go ahead. As my presence didn't seem to be very appreciated by the Dawnstar Innkeeper, I left pretty soon. I didn't have a clue about where to look for the Elder Gleam Sanctuary, so instead I headed for Solitude, thinking that the Kajit Bard might be there. Solitude is quite amazing, isn't it? And the Bard's College. Oh, I would love to spend some more time there. Unfortunately, the Kajit Bard with my flute hadn't been seen there. Hmm, I wonder if he is a real bard at all. I couldn't find anyone who knew about the Elgrim Sanctuary either, and I was pretty broke. So I started to ask around for work. First I went to the Radiant Raiment, but the elf ladies there didn't seem to like the way I looked. They said that I had no use for a countryside girl like me. Bah! Snobbish Altmas. As if their dresses were that pretty. Then I went to the Fletcher. Did I ever tell you that I'm quite good at fetching? I can make arrows for you if you wish. Do you tell. I only need some firewood and ingot. And a workbank, of course. Unfortunately, I didn't have any luck at the Fletchers. They had just hired a new guy, you see, so they hadn't got any use for me. So, instead I got work as a barmaid at the Winking Skiva. I quite liked it there. Minette, the daughter, is such a fun girl. She reminds me of my younger sister back home. Look, I do enjoy talking. Maybe we should take a break now. I guess we have other things to do as well. Yep. I need you to hold crap. Sure. As you wish. If you use wait here instead of it's time to part ways, your followers will leave your service after three game days. Really, Winters? So what do they do if you say it's time to part ways then? That ought to do. Talk later. They leave your service immediately, so you don't get the three day grace period. But you can still get them back again. It's not like they hate your guts and refuse to ever travel with you again. When they leave your service, they make their way back to their original spot. You can get them back. Okay, good. As long as you can get them back, that's fine. I don't want to because I do really like Farkas. But if he and Rilkas are twins, how come Rilkas got so much more brains? Clearly, he stole his brothers. That's what siblings do. Either way, they end up going back to where you found them unless you've used my home is your home to change their home. Okay. I don't believe I've got that mod, so we're just going to have to either keep What's-Her-Face Zora with us or be okay with her going back to the cave. Let me make sure I know where it is. It was... North Brittleshin Pass.
What do you need, my friend? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. Uthgird. Lydia, I brought you a friend you can talk to. Where are you? There you go. Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless. Firm but not rigid. Wait here a moment. I'll stand guard until you get back. Thank you. See you later, ladies. Yes? I've always wanted to be one. I love it. Oh, hello. Um... I don't want to use Elemental Bolt right here. I will use Lightning Bolt. Nice shot. Where'd the gargoyle go? Excuse me, gargoyle? Anybody see a pile of rocks running around here just a second ago? Wow, alright. How are you doing? Um. Who are you talking to, Vilya? I don't see Farkas. So that's the second vampire attack in a row we've had in a very short span of time. I guess that's the game trying to push me to work on Dawnguard a little more, but I think we're going to hold off. back again. Hmm. Oh well. If he's that far away, I'm not going to worry about him. Greeny, how are you doing? It's good to see you this evening. Uh, we're not really working on main story stuff, so it's hard to be sure. We're just heading down into the... Um, 
you know, the Falkreath area. I was just dropping off our latest new companion because I've, I've determined that we're not going to travel with more than two companions on a permanent basis. And I accidentally, just immediately after dropping off Lydia and Uthgird, I picked up a third companion. So we had to go and bring her to the Bannered Mare to join the party. Or to uh, unjoin the party, as it were. Let me just... In your defense, the new companion seemed fun. That's true. We can always get her back again if we want to travel with her for a while. Yeah, she's a very interesting woman named Zora. I've never met her before. She is apparently a modded companion. She had been held captive in North Brittleshin Pass by a necromancer who was, I believe she said, the 11th necromancer to have held her captive there. She likes to hang out there, apparently, and be, be held captive by necromancers in hope that somebody interesting will wander by and rescue her. But we just dropped her off outside the Bannered Mare, so, uh, you know, in a few days she's going to get tired and make her way back there and no doubt be held prisoner inside her cage again for a while. So, if we need to get her back again, we'll have to go there and pick her up. She likes the feelings. You had a conversation about that earlier tonight. Some people like that. Fair. I mean, I'm not here to judge. I would have no trouble keeping her with us, except that I'm trying to keep my maximum number of permanent companions down to two. I watched her go bite someone who was an immediate response was a smack on the head. <laughs> Not an altogether inappropriate response, I think. our buddy again. That looks like that might be another one, although I don't think I want to swim over there from here. I'll have to get that one another time. Oh, this was not in a game, Greeny. Ooh, well, that's... 
Okay, that that's 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 a whole different thing. Oh, speaking of different things. Temple of RK. Oh, crap. We have to go out into the lake after all. Well, all right. Was really no match at all. Oh, I didn't think I was going to be I that full. So that you're helping me to try. Sure, as you wish. Shall we continue? While we were back at the house, I probably should have dropped off books. I've picked up a lot. That's a big ship for a small lake. Keeping the beautiful Lady of the Lake company. Oh, what do we have here? I didn't even notice it. Ah, uh, the Lady Stone. Okay. I should probably work on getting better at restoration magic. Edgewalker. Restoration spells are up to 30% more powerful if the recipient is below half health. The bonus increases as the health decreases. The first ward you cast in combat costs no magicka to maintain. Thing is, I don't really ever use wards in combat, so I don't know how useful that would be. Descending Light. Spirit Tutors. Two spirit tutors roam Skyrim. Find them and speak with them to receive a permanent blessing that makes restoration spells 1% stronger per 20 points of magicka. Each spirit tutor grants one blessing. Okay, that actually sounds pretty fun. I think we're going to do that one. Wait, seven perks to increase? What the heck? Shrine blessings you receive are 1% stronger per level of restoration. Overflowing cup. Uh, <laughs> I, that's awkward. I can't read it. Spell or effect when you're already at full health overheals you, fortifying health by one point per restoration for 20 seconds. Hallowed Burial. Your attacks and restoration spells and effects are 20% more powerful against undead enemies. Warrior's Flame. In combat, the Warrior's Flame periodically touches a random target within 30 meters, including you. Friendly targets are blessed, restoring 20 points of magicka and stamina for 5 seconds. Hostile targets are cursed, draining the same amount instead. Okay. Do a couple points in restoration. No. 
I don't have a really pickpocket. Lock picking though. Your skill at lock picking is such that you may bypass locks of expert or lower level without using a key or manually picking the lock. After picking or bypassing at least 100 locks, you gain two perk points. So I have to get my lock picking to 100 before I'm going to get that. Which was the skill that... Oh, 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 it was sneak. I made sneak legendary. Maybe I should regain some of this. Oh, I have to actually level sneak. Okay, so I need to I need to start getting back into just going around and sneaking again. I got out of that habit somehow. Uh oh, and I should probably start using my fancy bow again too. So let's do archery master. Long shot two. No, I leveled sleep yesterday. It was very refreshing. Thread the needle. Bows and crossbows ignore 25% armor if the target's not, moody, not moving. Arrows and bolts slow a target within 7.5 meters by 10% for 20 seconds. This affects stacks. Can move at full speed with a drawn bow. Do not take this perk while sneaking. I'm not sneaking, and I've already got the perk. Cannot be staggered while holding a drawn bow or reloading a crossbow. Grants the Hawkeye power. Once per day, slow time and focus on your foes for 10 seconds, looking for opportunities for a kill shot. Finding their vulnerability takes one second per 125 health. Once you do, you may shoot them for an instant kill. Okay, I think that'll do. Uh, now... That is not a bound bow. Where's bound bow? Why the heck I had bound sword even equipped is beyond me. Something must have happened. Uh, where were we going? We were over that away, I think. Level some sheep? What do you mean, Greeny? Oh, 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 another one. You're good. I wish I could use a bow that well. Wow, I stopped him dead. On multiple levels. Something fun's going on up there. Oh, instead of leveling sleep. <laughs> I was thinking of leveling Sneak myself. I don't know what you guys plan to do. Oh good, more ancient vampires. The warrior's flame touches you. Bob thought sleep, I say that would be great. I needed it so bad yesterday. I was so tired. 
I'm good today, though. I like this floor warrior's flame thing. It's pretty good. Falkreath Watchtower discovered. I know it's not going to be a thing, but that would be amazing. Yes. Oh. Okay, now we have a new nemesis we have to take out. I probably should have used my elemental bolt. I squint my eyes. I see double for a moment before the world comes back into focus. I can see clearly again, but I don't recognize this place. Virgil, cursed of Payright, sits smugly in Falkreath Watchtower while I lie here humiliated. My blood boils at the thought. Debuff inflicted, weight of Nern. Return to the place of your last defeat, Falkreath Watchtower. Track down the master necromancer who almost killed you. <clears throat> oh god, Weight of Nern. What the hell is that? Uh... You've... Your carry weight is reduced by 50? Oh, shoot. Okay, this means war. <laughs> <laughs> uh I can't get out of here. From a certain point of view, it means nothing. Just go encumbered. You are... Oh my god. Oh no! Oh my god. This is a player home that I don't own yet. And I don't have the key. I think I might be stuck, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely a player home that I should be able to own at some point, but don't currently. That's awkward as hell. <laughs> um... Well, that's definitely a thing. It's a very nice player home. I like the way it looks. Can you attack your followers and get them to kill you? I mean, potentially. I don't particularly want to. Oh, boy. I don't... Oh, 
geez. Well, if this is a player home, in theory, I should be able to stick stuff away. I'll just make sure it's stuff I don't care about too much. Just put all the food in the safe where it belongs. Our revenge shall be swift. Well, snail paste, actually, yes. You cannot fast travel from this location. Oh my god. How do I get out of here? I might have to on Stara. Now, the problem is we're inside a player home that I do not own, Romney. It's a player home that I'm supposed to own, but uh, I teleported inside due to the actions of a mod because it's a safe space within range. The problem is I don't have the key to the door, which means I cannot exit. Okay. Oh god, we've got her back again. This is before we dropped her off. We haven't even fought the vampire with the swanky pirate outfit yet. Okay, so this is our new companion, Zora Fairchild. We're gonna have to go drop her off again. <laughs> and uh, then we'll see about... Oh, I remember you. Okay, so we want, uh, first of all, I want to put that on five. We're going to start using this right away. And I want to use stealth. And I also probably need to use these skill points. So I'm not going to remember what all that was, but I do remember I wanted archery stuff. Oh, first... I took some points in restoration. I think I took a point in that, and I took Warrior's Flame. And then I took a couple in lockpicking. Game of Fate. No. Or did I take any? Actually, I don't think I did. And I couldn't do anything in here. Right. Okay, so archery. I did long shot. Thread the needle. Hawkeye. Look at this.
Dual casting six shock spells in combat triggers a shock nova that deals 150 points of shock damage to nearby enemies and staggers them. This can only occur once per battle. Shock spells incapacitate living targets below 25% health if they are not shock resistant. Or outburst. When you fall below 75 points of health, the fiery energy within you explodes and ignites nearby enemies, dealing 30 points of fire damage per second for 4 seconds and applying fire spell perks. This effect has 180 second cooldown. That sounds amazing. Okay. So that's a different loadout than we did last time, but I like it. A wooden safe house of emotions? Oh boy, Romney. Double mod combo fatality. Exactly. That was quite annoying. Where are we? I want to see if we can grab those things. Actually, I also want to... There we go. Quick save. Yeah, I thought so. That's the island we had been to. <laughs> Either got it or landed it pretty close. But I think we're going to go back the other way. Instead of taking the Flame Lurker on. We will go for our grudge match against What's-Her-Name. But we have to go get... There's, there's a couple more things we need to get. A couple more Sky Shards. That was one of them. But there was another on our way back to dropping off What's-Her-Name. So we need to do that too. Is there a way to spawn a Mirelurk Queen in a swamp? Cross-setting? I don't believe so, sorry. There it is. Or there's one anyway. I don't know if it's the same one. I'm not even... I don't think I got this one before, did I? Oh, no, I did. This is the... Uh, this is the, the graveyard one. Oh, what the heck? Jazz Jazz coming in. Oh, my God. How? <laughs> Your timing's impeccable, Jazz. We're just about to have ads. Let me... Oh, I can't even... No, I can't snooze them. It's too late to snooze them. Jazz, how are you doing? It is so wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I promise... 
guess if I have to go on break before we have a chance to welcome you properly, I will make sure to do that as soon as we get back. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I will do the whole raid thing and the shout outs and the uh, raid video as soon as we get back from this, but I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, it's literally the last second there, Jess, but I appreciate you so much. So, uh, hang on, just. Okay, I'll be right back. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. The Emma leader, it seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> Oh my god, the timing! Oh, it's a good thing I built the foundations. Minus five to hull strength. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed anything. I don't know. Way. Oh. I do kind of have in mind all the happenings before. Um. The treasure is mine. All mine. I wouldn't. Be so quick to Yeah. Well, rip her. Okay, where the heck did they hide the house? Is this the house here? Okay, this is not the house. Where do we live? What the heck? Did I take a wrong turn? Told me about. Nope, not there. I am probably the first person in the history of... Oh, maybe it's this way. Oh, maybe I'm easier. Oh, nice. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Jess, your timing is absolutely impeccable and impressive as heck. How are you? How is your stream? I'm so sorry we had to cut to ads right then, but it is so good to have you here. Please tell me what you were up to. What, what went on in your stream? How did things go? I want to know all the things. Uh, so, guys... If you don't know Justice, she's a longtime friend on Twitch. She's a wonderful, wonderful streamer. War Thunder? What is War Thunder? I've never heard of this game. I'm curious. War Thunder for... Oh, for a sponsored campaign. That's really awesome. Let me get you another shout out there. A tank game. Okay. Those can actually be surprisingly fun. I have played a few tank games in my day. Been a long time, but um, I know there are some pretty impressive newer ones out these days, too. So, guys, make sure you go give Jess a follow. She's been a friend of the channel for... I don't even want to say how long at this point. It's been such a long time. But it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for entrusting your community to us. We are playing some Skyrim this evening. We're doing crowd control. And we're kind of celebrating slash mourning my very last nighttime stream or not really the last nighttime stream, but it's the last time that I'm starting my stream at night. I'm going to be a day streamer from now on. So my schedule's changing big time. I will still occasionally be doing nighttime streams in the sense that I always do my, you know, my long stream of the month. So instead of starting at four o'clock and going until four o'clock, I'll probably be starting around noon and streaming until midnight or one or 
two, maybe two o'clock in the morning or something like that. So I won't be going till four anymore, but uh, you will occasionally still catch me on at night. So yeah, uh, I, I'll still be around, but I have to change my schedule for many, many reasons. So um, folks, if you are new here, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single player story driven games, with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I've been known to build Lego on stream as well. So if any of that sounds good, please do feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. So there you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Jess, thank you again so much. Uh, so we just had something actually kind of hilarious happen in Skyrim. We are here trying to escort one of my companions. This is a fairly heavily modified version of Skyrim. Um, oh, here they come. Okay, so that's Sarana in the green armor. We have a third companion. We're trying to escort back to uh, Whiterun. Here, let me just grab this. This is the second time we've had to escort her back to Whiterun because I managed to get myself murdered. And I'm running a mod that makes it so that I actually can't die permanently. What happens is when I get killed in combat or even outside of combat, Instead of technically dying, I lose a bit of my equipment and I teleport to a random safe place where I then am given information about... What the heck? I'm given information about who or what defeated me and they become a nemesis. And I have to then go back to where I was killed and defeat my nemesis. Meanwhile, the nemesis is given a buff to make them a little bit stronger, and I'm given a debuff to make me a little bit weaker. And then if I kill the nemesis, I lose the debuff, and I gain a new buff in its place to make me stronger. So it's kind of a, a riff on the system that they use in the Lord of the Rings games, Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, and like the Middle-Earth series. Um, oh, well, hello. 
What the heck are you? Ancient Spriggan Patriarch. Okay. We could probably take him, but I don't really feel the need to do so. Where are we even going? That's Bleak Falls Barrow. I don't think we're in the right place. We're not. We're on the wrong side of the freaking river. Okay. I thought we were elsewhere. Uh, well, anyway, what happened was I got myself killed trying to get one of those sky shards I just picked up. A uh, necromancer killed me. And I teleported to a safe place, which sounds good, and even better, the safe place was a player home, a place that I can own, so that's really convenient, except I did not yet own this particular player home, which means I didn't have the key to the door to the player home. The door was locked, which meant I could not leave, so I had to reload because I was trapped forever. There we go, sneak increasing. Ah, rude. You're quite good. You got both. Thank you. And because I had to reload, I lost a ton of progress because I'm not in the habit of saving the game too often anymore. I mean, it wasn't the worst loss of progression ever. It was maybe half an hour at the very most, but even so, kind of annoying. Also really funny, but annoying. So now we have to make our way back again, and we're going to drop Zora off again, and then we'll make our way back again, and I'll have my revenge on the Necromancer, who at least now that I've reloaded, you know, she won't have the buff for having defeated me, because that never happened conveniently. So I will get the drop on her, and I will make sure that I murder her face before she has a chance to react. Now, we do have to be a little bit careful up here. Last time we did this and passed by this area with Zora in tow on our way back to right, White Run, we ran into a group of master vampires. One of them was rather snazzily dressed. But that's really no excuse for running around killing people. I mean, unless you're the player character, I guess. But she's not. She's just a vampire. She has no excuse. Ah! I did not have a violent relationship with that necromancer. Thank you so much, General. Welcome on in. Fatsack, what the heck coming in with the raid? I appreciate that so much. How are you doing? It's so good to see you again. What's going on? How is your stream? Tell me all about it. Welcome on in, folks. So let me get you some shout outs. There we go. Make sure you go give Fatsack a follow. He's a really awesome guy, longtime friend of the channel. I hope you, uh... Oh, you were playing Skyrim as well. What were you getting up to? How was Skyrim treating you? I would love to hear all about it. That's really, really cool. So, folks, if you are brand new here to the channel, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games, so that's the character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I've been known to do real-world physical... Lego builds. So if any of that sounds fun, feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. 
So many goats. Oh, no. Morris got... Yeah, we've got the crowd control going on, too. People are holding off a little bit right now because I have too many companions, but we're on our way to drop one of them off, so it'll be fun again to mess with my game shortly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I do have a little bit of a video. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Well, come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh, Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you so much for coming on over and bringing your folks in. I don't know if anybody has ever summoned goats on me before. I get... Uh, oh, here they come. Not goats. Vampires. Oh, is that the snazzy dressed one? It is! It's Captain Fancy Pants, guys. I can't believe it happened twice. That's pretty impressive. And she's even got the glass scimitar again. Amazing. Sea dog armor, boots, feathered tricorn, gauntlets. Nice. No, no hag raven. It's a vampire. Nope. They are not definitely not hag ravens. Hag ravens and vampires are very different things. You summoned Oh, did I miss a hag raven? That's entirely possible. Serrano. Oh. Thank you, Serrano. The encounter that we, the game generated for us was very definitely vampires. But, oh, <laughs> there you go. See, this is why most people wait until I've got fewer companions. Right now, when I've got three, I used to travel with four. But when I'm traveling with three, I often just don't even notice because stuff dies so quickly. Wait a minute, where are you going? You're Serana's vampire. Aren't you supposed to be following Serana? Okay, whatever. You live your best on life.
It's best to wait till he's in a shop or something with limited space to escape. <laughs> that vampire lady has places to be even if she's a zombie. That's true. Not all the things on Stara. I still stand by my request that we not summon, you know, mammoths and other really big things inside enclosed spaces. That has caused nothing but endless trouble. Like the time people summoned not one, but two mammoths at the same time inside my house. That was fun. You call it fun on Stara. I call it potentially game-breaking. <laughs> Now, last time we did this, we had that one encounter with the vampire lady with the snazzy pirate outfit. But then we also had another vampire encounter inside White Run. So let's see if history repeats itself there, too. I can't go inside Dragon's Reach anymore. It is now a stable to over 50 horses. Oh my god. You're a guard. You're Alicure. You're Avar. Okay, all these people look safe. Just checking for vampires, don't mind me. Uthgird, how's it going? Lydia, nice to see you. I brought you guys a friend, again. Zora. Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless. Firm but not rigid. Wait here a moment. I'll stand guard until you get back. Thanks. You can keep Lydia and Uthgird company. Now, it was after this point that we encountered the vampires. But I don't see anybody, so we might be okay this time. <sighs> yep. Okay. Mm. I think we're all right. Okay, quick saved. Yes. Why is there a cow in the main area? I will give you three guesses, and the first three that are not three winters don't count. Off for the night. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for bringing your friends in and for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic night, and I will catch you again soon. Now we need to go back to Falkreath again and hope we don't accidentally pick up anybody else that we didn't need, mean to travel with.
Come on. Up we go. There we go. Oh, it's here. That was tough. <laughs> that was tough? Her standard standards for tough battles need adjustment, I think. I'm pretty sure I don't, Bob. I, I don't think I do. I don't think that's a thing that I play. Maybe that would increase difficulty, but that's not a thing that we want to do. Increasing difficulty, bad. the other vampire. Where did she go? Wolf, Hagraven, Wolf, Spider. Okay, I think a few of the bodies disappeared on us. Why would you do that, Bob? Why would you do that? Is it not? Wait a minute. Is it morning or is it evening? Uh, well, okay, fair, Bob. That's true. It wasn't exactly a stormy night anymore. Hey, Vikings. Been lurking all night, just saying hi and going back to the lurk. Thank you so much, Vikings. Oh, morning. Okay. Secret. Love of my life. When you get a spare moment, I could use some water. Don't you sweet talk me, Alva. Not after last night. I'll bring you water when I'm done with my other two. Don't like evening times? Why on earth not? Nighttime is the best time. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where'd you come from?
Okay, guardian stones there. I need to check my skills. Where was archery? Okay, so once a day, not once an encounter. That's good to know. Slow time and focus on your foes for 10 seconds, looking for opportunities for a killing shot. Finding their vulnerability takes one second per 125 health. Once you do, you may shoot them for an instant kill. Okay. Sounds like the kind of thing that you can only do when you're coming up on them unaware. Where'd you come from? You. Thank you, guys. Where'd you come from? Flame demigod. Where'd There's no way this can go wrong. Sorry, Serana. Might be the first time we've successfully killed a flame demigod. Oh, was that Serana's rabbit? That's hilarious. Actually, we want to find that area where we build our house eventually. So let's go to Pine Watch. Where'd you come from? Back. Ah. Rude. I wish you wouldn't take many risks when you're fighting. Sometimes it scares me. I don't want anything to happen to you. Right now we have two goals. We have to find the missing things. And by things I mean, you know, those sky shard things like that one right there, for example. We have to find those so I can get my next skill point. And we also have to get revenge on the necromancer that killed us in another existence. Warrior's Flame is going to get reported to HR at this rate. Highly inappropriate. Didn't I tell you I was good? Oh, hello. 
Need something? Uh... Oh, thank goodness. I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. Calm down. Tell me what happened. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guard slept, but now I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Okay, weeks ago makes this whole thing make a little bit more sense. There's a town nearby in that direction. Do you need help getting there? Oh, thank you. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If Been you there, done that. Them, you'll be a true hero. You're welcome. Okay. I had thought that she had just escaped from them. If she actually escaped from them a few weeks ago, then the entire encounter makes a lot more sense to me. Okay, there we go. That gives me an extra perk to increase. So we'll start regaining our sneak perks as well. Now that I'm leveling it more too. And I'm going to quick save to lock that in. There we go. Now that we've got that one, I think the next one we need to get is the one in the tower where the necromancer lives that killed us. So we probably want to go back that way. And that one we found when we were crossing the river from getting the one on the island, which we've now already got, so all we have to do is follow the riverbank until we find the tower. Make the liar. I still think he's stalking us. Clear now. Good job, sir. Okay, this is the general sort of area. Who might you be? Temple of RK. Priest of RK. There it is. Uh, 
I'm not going to try using the archery this time because we know how well that went, but um, let's also quick save before we go. So I don't have to redo quite so much if I end up trapped inside a house again. Oh, hello. Apprentice Skeleton Conjurer. I dance in fire, arrowroot, hooded black lich robes. What? Wow. Salt pile and warlock boots. Sorry, Delia. Ow. I don't think that's Serana's skeleton. I'm pretty sure she's still using hers. Saving again. Now, I'm also really curious about the area right around here, because when we were trapped inside the house, I looked at the general area map, and it looked like it was very close to here. Like, very, very, very close. Just a small ways south. But I don't see anything here. Which is interesting. Oh. Well, that's the town of Falkreath itself, but that looks like it's too far to be the player home. Unless it might be somewhat obscured over there. That could be it. We'll investigate more after we go in and take our uh, sort of alternate world revenge. Come on, guys. Falkreath Watchtower discovered. Oh, it's a different necromancer. Bridges, conjuration increased. I need that book. Give me the book. Out of the way, sir. This 
Facebook is being extremely uncooperative. I don't suppose I have any kind of telekinesis spell. I know that is a thing, at least in theory. I want it to come closer, not go farther away. Telekinesis, I do have it, okay. No! Get back here. Book of Daedra, excellent. Ebony double axe, very nice. Emerald, gold, standard potion of fortify enchanting. Attempting to blend atop a ruined watchtower. Um, Serana, you around? I, of course, don't want to nag, but of course. How would you like a glass dagger of lightning and an ebony double axe? I thought you Any would time. like that. Okay, now we have to check out this potential location for the player house that we're supposed to get. Lathriel's camp. Oh, great. Done and done. Where'd you come from? I need you to if take you some stuff help. off my hands. That'll do. Thank you, Serana. Uh-oh. Game? Oh, no. We might have just lost the game, guys. Uh... You lost the game? Crap. Um... I'm gonna try and kill the game. Skyrim. End task. Y 
Yep. How's it going, A. Burnt? It's good to have you here. Well, at least this time we are lucky in that I took the precaution of quick saving multiple times. So I do have a very recent one. It just means we have to go back and probably take out the Necromancer again. Just doing some lurks mostly? That's not a problem, eh, Burnt? I appreciate the lurk. Thank you so much. So we'll get back in here and uh, hopefully things will go better this time. Okay. Okay, you're both here. Take three. Valkyrie Watchtower discovered. I'm not going to bother even looting these this time. Where do you come from? Oh. You're here. That's weird. <laughs> what? Oh no. Get him. Murder. Kill. Get him. Go. Go. Do the thing. I must have weakened him pretty badly, at least. No! There we go. Okay. I think they let him get too far away from me. I'm pretty sure there's a distance component. Adrenaline is pumping through my veins. Something tells me that I'm not out of danger yet. I open my map and drag a heavy finger over Falkreath Watchtower. This is where I will finish Leonard Blackheart. Debuff inflicted fear of man again. At least we're not in a player home this time. That's a positive thing. Oh, good. But we are in a vampire lair, so there's that. Wait a minute, why am I using freaking necromancer robes? Where are my... Oh, God. Be Where are we? Sorry. Is this place Broken Fang Cave? Oh, Broken Fang Cave. Okay, I recognize the name. I don't remember the interior very well, but I do know it is a vampire there, so makes a certain amount of sense.
blessed iron sword. increased. Property, properties of elemental imbued salts. Exotic bow. A dance in fire. Chances folly. Darkest darkness. The Trap, Immortal Blood, A Brief History of the Empire Part 2, A Dance in Fire Part 1, The Argonian Account Book 1. The Mystery of Pl Princess Talara Part 4. All right, guys, we do have... Oh, Orcish Sword of Depleting. Very nice. Uh, we do have ads beginning very, very shortly again. So I'm going to have to take another quick break. A proper one this time, since the last one was a little bit hasty. Um, due to circumstances beyond anyone's control. So I think I'm going to pause right here. And we're going to take a quick break, and I'll be back in about five. shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Oh of all God. the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. I won't bother checking. No! No, Cassandra! No! Damn it, you... making food out of people and we know that we are actually okay with that oh wow this game suddenly got so dark Let's hear it. Oh. 
Bell drone was assigned to an Albion detention center somewhere in the borough. According to oh. what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high-value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. I can't believe this was actually useful for something. Oh no, what the hell? Oh crap. And Stara, what the hell are you doing here? Oh crap. Oop. <laughs> Synthetic stomach, huh? Oh, good. And Stara, you would be the one that does medical stuffs. Uh oh. Um, Aranlor has failed catastrophically while operating on Instara. Skill trainer. <laughs> uh, is that a hint? Aranlor. Use skill trainer to learn medical. <laughs> oh boy. Aaron Lor failed in a minor way while operating on Anstara. <laughs> Two synthetic stomachs. You're really determined, aren't you? There we go. You're all fixed up now, Anstara. I remember the stomach saga well, yes. Still can't believe I lived despite Aranor's best worst efforts. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here now. I don't think this is too huge a dungeon, is it? Actually, I think it was. That's literally it. That's the end of it. Broken Fang Cave is a very, very small place. Thank you. Now let's see how far away Broken Fang Cave is from Falkreath and the area where I got murderized again. Broken Fang Cave discovered. I love discovering the cave that we just exited. Um. Oh, no. Local. There. Uh. It's, well, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Okay. Track down the ne master necromancer who almost killed you. Wait. He's here? What the heck? That's weird. Where'd you come from? I have seen done and done. Oh, the skeevers. And I don't carry. I never see one again. The eternal bane of this playthrough. Vera Johnson, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay, if I just hold still... I think he's getting closer. Apparently I've heard Francis writing again because something something about retirement age. Interesting. 
Are they pushing for it to be younger or older? Or maybe abolishing it entirely? Older, interesting. Oh, God. Electroconvulsions. Shock spells incapacitate living. Yeah, I want to do that one. And it's an everybody hated that reaction? Okay. Sorry, Vilia. Yeah, oh, I'm, I've got that whole I'm on fire thing going again. Sixty two to sixty four years. So, why does everybody hate it so much? Out of curiosity. Here we come. Too? Debuff removed, fear of man. I'm annoyed I didn't get to actually kill him. He's got my stuff, he stole my robes. No wonder I was wearing simple. Necromancer robes or something like that. Man, he took a lot of my crap. Serves you right, sir. College boots. Archmage's robes. There we go. Make you again. I swear it's to God, he's he he's stalking to us. You and I. I was just thinking, would you be interested if I told you a little about myself? I find it almost ironic here in America we have to retire at sixty six or we get penalized for withdrawing from social security early. Wow. As my presence didn't seem to be very appreciated, I didn't have... Sorry. We already saw this, so I'm just going to go through it I quickly. So I... They... Then I went to... I only... Unfortunate. She reminded... Look, okay. I do enjoy talking. But 
make a... Sure. As you wish. Okay, so... Three thirty-five. Two sixty-one will do. Thank you very much, Vilia. Anytime. Okay. Technically, we still have to go to a Falkreath Watchtower, even though our reason for going there is dead. Back. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh oh. To cover that. Back. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, holy crap. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Back. Jeez. Yikes. <laughs> if I had to guess, it's because in North America, especially the United States, there's a work until you die culture and you don't have worth unless you work one too, and France just isn't big on those. I can understand that. I've always thought that to be a fairly ridiculous way to look at life. You should work to live. You should not live to work. Yes, crowd control, Vera Johnson. Where'd you come from? So in addition to all the stuff the game throws at me, I also have to deal with all the stuff that chat throws at me as well. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? We just talked, Vilya. I mean, it's always nice chatting with you and all, but come on, can we space it out a little better, please? I feel attacked. I'm working at 11.30 p.m. Well, then why would you do that? Well, that's true on Star Out. That is true. I guess I can't really be the one to talk about that. saving just in case never know there might be somebody else up here that uh, is waiting for us that now that the original necromancer is gone nope looks clear hey Book of Daedra. There's no other book this time. It's a, it's a thing. Where's magic? I need that telekinesis spell. No! Alteration increased. There's our ebony double axe again. Okay, hang on a 
second, I lost chat. Oh, nope, come on. There we go. I'm on call, so what someone expected. Okay. These are normal business hours for Gord. That's true. That's true, too. And it's not because I started work at, like, 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm still working at, uh, you know, 2.30 at night. I started working at 11 in the evening. Not for much longer, you are correct. I'm going to go back to somewhat more sane working hours soon. Longer days, but fewer of them, and during the daylight hours. That's the problem with America, though. We are kind of stuck in our Puritan work culture. We haven't been able to change how we as a culture or country see work. Further, to expand on that thought, we should like working in the people we work with. There's no such thing as normal, just varying degrees of chaos. That's also true. I agree, Haggis. I kind of wish in some ways that I could keep doing the night thing. It's just impacting my life and other people's lives in too many ways. Can't keep doing it. Now that all of that is done, let me quick save before I get myself in trouble by sneaking around town. Um, have we ever met the Jarl of Falkreath yet? I don't remember if we did. Is that Geralt? No. <laughs> Thank you, Winters. I assume that was Winters. I worked overnights for a long time, you understand? Yeah. I protect the Jarl, whoever that might be. Interesting way to phrase that. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman. And it's time to pay for your crimes. You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Then you're free to go. What's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings, oh, excuse me, Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people, so the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days. We've gotten very few reinforcements, so we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising, and things will get back to normal soon enough. All right, then. And Stara, what the heck? Oh. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Thanks. <laughs> you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. No, I'll you pay the fine, of course. <laughs> Did you see a dog out there? Did you, you have lost? I don't know what it was. 
Yeah. Oh, Legate Skullnar is still hostile. Crap. Oh, not anymore. Okay, I think we're all right now. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is Let's get indoors. We just beat you twice. Do you not think we have what it takes? <laughs> all is forgiven. They respect a strong warrior in these lands. Okay, um... Dead man's drink. The cow found a goat buddy. <laughs> Warm beds. Welcome to dead man's drink. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, in here. Okay. Twelve hours ought to do. Can't take that. Whoops. You didn't need that where it was. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? I'm sure it's Looks a like complaint it. about the damage Got to his to throne room. Letter from Jarl Sidgir of Falkreath. Una, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir, and I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim and my throne room has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that accrues the title, my thanes are entitled to a personal house carl. I can also tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person again. I remain your also gear of Falkreath. <laughs> okay then. Let's make the long trek back to the Jarl's Palace. Or Long House. Nenya, wait a minute, isn't she one of the college students? My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. How long have you been a steward? It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me as steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. It is Vera Johnson, but I was judiciously adding little bits in there. There was nothing in there about the fight in the, uh, in the throne room. I added those parts myself. May wisdom forever light your path. It's not stealing, therefore it's mine.
Oh, we found it, guys. We found loot. Oh, there you are. What are you doing that for? My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Yes. What is it that you want? I got your letter. I'm Una. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. It will be done. Good. Okay, kill the leader of Ember Shard. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. As you wish. They're bandits. I would do no less. Wow, Winters. Okay. Journal. Oh, God. Uh, killed the leader of Ember Shard. There we go. Oops, hang on. Accidentally scrolled chat way the heck up. There we go. Where is Ember Shard? Oh, <laughs> we've already cleared that one, but all right, we'll go through. No doubt there's at least one bandit in there that needs killing again. You okay, sir? The commotion's already finished. You guys okay? What's going on? There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. I know. I was at Hogan. Then you've seen them too. <clears throat> we lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Oh, thank you, Traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Thank you for your kindness. No problem. Oh, they're back. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with these guys. Gotcha. I call shenanigans. There's nobody alive up there to trigger that.
Guys, you coming with? Or I guess you can just awkwardly get trapped. That's also an option. Valenwood Warbow. Oh, whoops. I guess I don't want the ruined crap. Sorry. Oh, uh, healing too. Ah. Uh -oh. Get him, guys. Look over there. That's a bandit. That's not a bandit. if they're going to be able to kill this thing fast enough to save me. I think we're just getting another nemesis here. Oh. Good job, guys. I don't want anything to happen to you. Thank you, Vilya. Nice work. Damn it. So far, this hasn't been too bad. It gets lonely exploring by myself, though. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. No comment. Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. things hammer I hope all is well uh, what's the best way to go here okay so we want to go this way I'm doing pretty good. It's a little weird to take in that this is my last nighttime stream, or at least the last stream where I'm starting at night. There will still be streams where I start much earlier in the day and just go long and end up overlapping, but last stream before my schedule change. Hasn't really sunk in, but at least I'm a lot more awake today than I was yesterday. I was really exhausted yesterday. It was pretty bad.
Outburst ready. It's not vampires, it's necromancers. What the heck is going on around here? This thing is still here from last time. Okay, where did we leave Ember Shard Mine? Wait, Ember Shard Mine, isn't this one of the ones where we had dragon issues? Who's booming all over Skyrim? What the heck? Hello? Oh, there you guys are. Oh, that time we locked the dragon in the cave with you? <laughs> Yes. Oh, hello. I find you. And it was flying outside the walls. Yep. We killed it, right? It's not still down here. I think that's a thing. Man, I could have sworn that was already disabled. Huh? Where'd you Someone come there? from? We did well. Don't you think so? Totally. I think the dragon must be gone. They were awfully calm.
clairvoyance. You bring a time to get lost. I still have the key, that's right. I don't have to find anything. Novice robes of alteration, ring of minor illusion, another Valenwood war bow, a painting. Another lusty Argonian maid. It's a very popular series, apparently. Come on, guys. Thank you. Done. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know about on stream winters, but I have plans for the off stream YouTube content that I do. There might be some negotiating to be done there. <laughs> But actually, it's interesting that you should uh, bring that up in particular. I don't think I've ever found a proper copy of the Lusty Argonian Maid in this playthrough. I just found another Lusty Argonian Maid, but I don't mean I found another copy of it. I mean, it's a book entitled Another Lusty Argonian Maid. Hey, Greeny, welcome back. How are things going? Ah, never really left. Okay, fair enough. I never actually look at the viewer list, so <laughs> I can't really tell. the amazing support oh my god it's so good to see you how are you doing glass arrows that sounds unusually dangerous okay i think that's it for this cave if i'm not mistaken Could be better, but happy to hang out with you tonight. I'm sorry to hear that, Ultra. I was very curious. You mentioned you're having audio problems in your Discord. What kind of symptoms are you getting? Because I've still got ongoing problems, too, and I have been since I updated Windows 11 to the newest version. And I'm wondering if it's, like, I'm pretty convinced it's because of a Windows update. And I'm very hopeful that we're going to get a fix to that in a, another update very soon. 
so I'm curious if you've got something that's very similar to what's going on with me. The setting on your mixer got weird. It changed the level of left versus right stereo sound. Huh. I recently upgraded to 11 and haven't had audio issues. What exactly are you experiencing? Uh, that's actually uh, quite an involved story to tell. But basically, what's happening right now is when I hear it, it will randomly change channels or like silence out the left or the right and uh, go to full center. And quite often, what I'll, I will find has happened is I'll have to go deep into the Windows audio settings for my uh, sound card properties and go to where it specifies what type of audio you've got if it's two point like stereo two channel 2.1 5.1 7.1 all of those options it always seems to want to go back to 5.1 audio even though I've only got stereo desktop speakers with a subwoofer so it should be 2.1 which is where I keep switching it, but without prompting, at random times, it'll just, boom, switch itself over. And it, it just happens so weirdly and so randomly and so crazily. And I can't get a handle on why. There's no obvious trigger for it, and the only obvious solution for it is to switch it back manually. That sounds like your issue? That sounds like a Windows issue. For one update, it kept resetting my monitor refresh rates. Then after another issue update, the issue stopped. So hopefully they fix that next patch Tuesday. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. You guys don't seem to hear any difference when it happens, except for those first few couple of days. The other thing that's weird that's going on is I'm not hearing anything on stream. Like the audio from my mic in the game is perfectly fine. But uh, as soon as this issue started happening, I don't hear the alerts at all. There's no audio for them for me. You guys can hear them. I had to change all the settings in OBS to allow you to hear them, but you guys can hear them. You can hear the alerts. You can hear the raid videos. You can hear the clip show. You can hear all of that stuff, but I can't hear anything. It's all completely dead silent for me, and it's the most bizarre thing. So I'm really hoping it's a Windows issue, and I really hope that next Patch Tuesday they do fix it. were almost inaudible, but everything else was audible. That is so strange. I don't suppose Dunk happens to remember how he fixed it, because I would dearly love to get that taken care of. I mean, it's not the biggest issue in the world, and Windows will probably fix it after the next one. But, uh, oh, the uh, actually, <laughs> that, that could be a problem. Even if he tells me how to fix it, I won't be able to confirm it until I stream next, and next time I stream, it's going to be... Um, here. I should probably know this for the stream since I have to tell you guys when I'm streaming next. Let me check my schedule. I don't have my times firmed up yet, but I know the date that I'm streaming anyway, at least. I will be streaming on Friday, March 31st. And I'm assuming I'm going to start around noon, although it might be... I'll probably just start at noon, uh, and then I'll firm up my schedule on subsequent days. So I think that'll be fair. So if I have to start later on later days, or if I have to start earlier, or get to start earlier, then I'll just do that on later streams. Hey, Poggy, what's going on? Hey, Mama C. Thank you very much for the shout out, Greeny. I appreciate that. Your resub alert was distorted pretty bad? See, I had no idea, because I can't hear it at all. And that might be the whole... Um, here, let me check. It's probably got me set to 5.1 audio again. So the distortion would be because you're only hearing the left or the right, and there's like just weird stuff going on with the distribution. So that could be that. So let me just check my settings here. But I would bet a lot that uh, it has shifted again and it's thinking I've got a speaker set up that I don't have. So 
So yeah, if I go to playback sound settings and check my speaker properties and hit configure, yep, 5.1 surround. So now if I were to redo your alert ultra, I still hear nothing. But let me know if that's You had the same issue with sound. You had to fix it manually after the Windows update. Yeah, the thing is, I have to fix it every five minutes. It's, oh no, uh, that's not off, Ultra. That's actually intentional, although it's too much. And over my break, <laughs> when I'm off for a week, I will be fixing it so that it's not so crackly. But the crackle is actually supposed to be there. It's supposed to sound a little cyberpunky. Unfortunately, right now, it sounds way too cyberpunky. You were summoned here by someone. No, so that distortion, the crackle, all that kind of stuff, that, that's not a broken alert. That's an intentional alert. It's just I have the volume on the crackles way too high. So uh, you'll find, hopefully at, at least, when I get back those will be much improved. I might actually get rid of the crackling entirely, except for raid alerts. I kind of like it for raid alerts, but I'll still, I'll drop the volume so it doesn't sound so overwhelming. Because I do find it makes the rest of the audio a little bit hard to hear. The thing is, I kind of just stopped working on all the audio for the alerts and all that. I haven't made any new alerts except for mass sub gifting. Because it was right around that same time that I was doing all that that I realized I was kind of working myself to death. And so I just forced myself to stop. And I just decided, okay, I'm not doing anything more with any of that until I have real genuine time off so that I don't kill myself. And so that's this coming week. I'll get back to doing some of that. And I'll add some variations and... I won't have to worry about it quite so much because with my new schedule, I'll be streaming three days a week instead of five, which will give me two days that I can work on other types of content and get other things done. And I'll have two days that I can genuinely not do anything, which is what I need. Okay, also... Oh, shoot. I just dropped off a cliff. Where are... It's so nice to just talk go. a little, you and I. I was just thinking, would you be interested if I told you a little about myself? I kind of just wanted you to carry a bunch of extra stuff, but okay, go for it. I have to admit that I never was a particularly good barmaid. I was too shy to joke with the customers, and on top of that... Have a good night, Bob. Well... Quite frankly, I am so horribly ticklish. And the customers at the Winking Skewer all noticed. You bet they had fun trying to tickle me. I don't know how many trays with food I have dropped. The innkeeper was a sweetheart though. He never complained. He just sighed. But I think he might have been just a tad bit relieved when I quit my work after a while. His little daughter Minette was in tears though. I really felt bad about leaving her. We had a tremendous time together, singing and telling stories. I'll tell you more some other day. Let's get moving. Oh, that was a nice short one. Now the Winking Skeever, that's in Solitude, right? She was talking about Solitude earlier. Um, let's see. Sure. What can I drop As you off? Wish. Hmm, most of the clothing really isn't gonna make much difference. I think we might have to go back home and drop off this massive library I've been building since I started streaming tonight. I've got way too many books. I mean, not 
too Shall many books. That's obviously impossible, but I have too many on me. So we need to we need to clear some space. Those are starting to get heavy. I've always liked Riverwood. Of course I often visited here while staying in White Run. Okay, so, oh, that's, oof. I'm just realizing, too, if this audio issue, when is next Patch Tuesday supposed to be? I guess it's too much to hope that that's tomorrow. It's probably going to be a week from tomorrow, isn't it? If you look around here, you will often find butterflies. Even if I make all these changes to the alerts, and that's not really an if, it's a when, uh, I'm going to have a difficult time testing sure when the next ad is supposed to run. It's got to be coming up in the next minute or two. Well, like three or four, I guess, but... Hang on. Let me... I, I need to refresh my browser for this. Something's going weird with it. So I'm going to lose chat for just a second. There we go. That's better. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing I refreshed. Um, thoughts on the new ad incentive? I, I, what, um, we'll talk about that as soon as I get back from break, Ultra. Ads are going to be starting soon, so it's a good thing I refreshed. I'm not sure actually what you mean by that. I don't know if that's applicable to affiliates, but uh, I'll be back in just a minute. No problem. I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. Yeah, don't forget to clip, guys. I want some good Halloween clips for October this year. When I, something happens to me or I do stuff. I'm clipping myself when I think of it, but... Oh my god. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now that's music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? Drake, at the edge of this expansive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Zarif, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody remnants of a recent meal, gobbets of flesh still speared on crooked fangs. Oh god. Cecil has become a paladin. Crap, he has a bad motivator.
climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretion some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. The treasure is mine. All mine. I wouldn't be so quick to... Yeah. Well, rip her. I don't know if we can take another hit. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Greenie. So what is this about a, an ad incentive program? I'm pretty sure I've heard a little bit about it. I'm also pretty sure that that's a partner thing. What are you? Ah, flame lurker. Nice. Stop dodging. Thank you, Poggy. Thank you, Vikings. Thank you, Ultra. What did I say? Stop dodging. Gotcha. So Twitch offered guaranteed income depending on how many minutes of ads per hour you decide to run. You have to stream a minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I've heard of that. That is a partner only thing. That's not something that I have to worry about. Which is apparently just as well because I understand that in certain months of the year, it's really worth it. In certain other months of the year, particularly January, it's just ridiculous. And that's honestly not really Twitch's fault. That's just the way the ad revenue business works across pretty much every industry. But it was really scuffed because the number of hours required per month could sometimes be like 200 hours per month with the old program. The new program is more elastic. Same concept, but scales with the number of hours you do stream instead. Okay, okay. That sounds better. 
Yeah, I remember people kind of got up in arms with the January ad rates and all that. Not really Twitch's fault, though, like I said. that um, That's just a known thing that every industry has known about, except for Twitch, for a very long time. It's only the new programs that have made it stand out on Twitch more this year than previous years. It's so... Oh, hey, Nabby! How's it going? It's good to see you. It's so complicated. I just like for people to not have pre-rolls because I've never seen a cent for them. Yeah. You saw a few streamers for Go ads in January. I mean, you're probably not missing much. So how are you doing, Nubby? It's really good to see you. How did the rest of your stream last night go? Your art was looking fantastic when I had to sign off and go to bed. Been lurky while working on things? I appreciate the lurk. Uh, oh, we weren't going to Whiterun. We were going home. Come on, Serana. Keep up. You got that supernatural vampire strength working for you. If Vilya and I can do it, you can do it. Just sent a couple of them subs to help with a dry month. That is way too kind. It ended up cute. I'll probably post it along the week depending been trying to have some moments on doing art for me whenever you can i understand completely nubby probably be more mindful of ads yourself but your current setup is not well for that yeah i'm just fortunate because i use the twitch dashboard as my primary chat viewing uh you know space it's already really pretty easy. I just set it up so the ads manager is directly underneath chat, so I can always pretty much just glance a little bit lower. And I can see that right now, for example, ads will start again in 49 minutes. So I can keep on top of it pretty easily. And then I have it set up to highlight when it gets down to three minutes until ads begin. So that tends to catch my eye, and I'm more likely to notice. You set yours to trigger if you go on your BRB screen because you forgot? Yeah. You gotta stop being so down on yourself, Greeny. It takes time. It takes time for everybody. I know, Nabi. Stream I'm so addicted to Stream Deck. I wouldn't be able to function without it. Okay. Some of these things are unread. What was the unsigned letter? We need to speak with you. Come and find us in the frozen hearth in Winterhold. We will be waiting for you. I still don't know how to stream. Welcome to the club, Greeny. I don't know a single streamer who really does. <laughs> are you hungry? I could make a meal for you if you like. No, I just want to take all the stuff. All right. Sure. As you wish. Thank you. Talk later. Your turn, Sarana. Yes. 
Okay, let's see what you have. Oh, no, wait. Okay, there, that's better. Uh, I'll take that back. And that, and that. Apotheus armor? What the heck is this? It looks cool. I don't remember giving that to her. Under contract. <laughs> Did I want to take the Drain Blood Battle Axe? I should probably give that one to Serana. Yeah. She wasn't using it. It's fine. Staff of the Dramora Churl. Wow. I don't even know where I get most of this stuff. Yesterday I finally took steps to be able to return to your library work. You haven't been there for a year? Oh man. I hope returning goes smoothly then. I collect all this crap so quickly. I just emptied this part of my inventory earlier this evening. That's really weird. There we go. Yep, I don't worry too much anymore about whether or not I've used a soul gem before I put it away because it's not really going to make a difference. Also, it means next time I go home, I can just pick up a soul gem from my chest and I'll probably have one of the size I need that's not filled yet. Okay, so now we need to go back to Sid Gear. Got a bunch of meetings tomorrow, so I should hit the hay. Have a good night and enjoy your break. Thank you so much, Space. I appreciate it. I'm not even entirely clear on what exactly you use soul gems for. I mean, I get that they're used in crafting, but I've never actually done it, so... I'm not sure at what point in the process they're used or what the process is and all that kind of stuff. That's one of those things that I'm going to have to learn one of these days. They re Oh, they refill enchantments. Okay. Okay. Like I said, it's it's just one of those things I've never actually done before. Oh god, Poggy, I heard it in that voice when I read that. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Yep. 
You heard it in the voice too. You were just DMing him it. <laughs> Someone needs to kill Alistair. Alistair's okay. I don't th there's no problem with Alistair. I like Alistair as a character. Oh, it's the revelers. Had to reapply for clearance to work with children. Felt good to get the wheels in motion as the only thing that's been stopping me returning sooner was your own headspace. The best plot twist ever. Not enchantment. <laughs> Alistair must die. Mm. Well, I mean, you can always do a playthrough of it, Greeny. And then you can ensure that he dies. I think that would be an amazing game to see you play. The only problem is you really have to think long and hard about when you kill him because that is a conflict that you could milk for a good long time for entertainment value if you kept him around. Morrigan, yes, I like Morrigan. I haven't played those games in so long. I probably should, because I have, like, no clips of them. The only clip I have from the entire Dragon Age franchise is this one really badly mangled clip from Dragon Age Inquisition in one of the dungeons on from a night when my audio was really badly distorted. And I'm pretty sure it was a clip that somebody took specifically for the purpose of allowing me to hear how bad it sounded. Because that's a thing Aaron Lore will do occasionally. She still refuses to let me see the child. I got 500 hours of Inquisition with my first stream set up, and it's an experience. The only downer in the whole experience was the first person I talked to who looked at me, then asked my accompanying father what assistance I need. Apparently, there's still people who see a wheelchair and assume a lack of intelligence or ability to communicate. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's a terrible attitude. One of them is from the day I realized I'd been running around for an hour with Blackwall not having a weapon equipped. Oh no. <clears throat> you remember beating Inquisition within the first few days of release? Holy crap, Poggy. I still haven't finished it. I I'm actually sometimes inclined to blame the Frostbite engine because I've also still never finished Andromeda even though I've started two playthroughs specifically with the intention of finishing it and I haven't done it yet. Although, in my defense, that second playthrough is still ongoing. It's not done yet. It's not over. It's not abandoned. I have, in fact, even played it relatively recently and I've gotten way farther than I did in my first attempt. You know life that game at first? That's probably an easier way to beat it. I just found that when I was playing it, especially playing it on stream, I lost the thread of the plot at some point and I never found it again. I just got so distracted with so many things going on that I completely just blanked on what the whole game was about and got distracted with other games and it was only years later that I looked back and realized, oh, Man, I probably should have continued with that.
You need to do your 13th playthrough only dwarf you have in Dragon Age, oh boy. I might consider doing another playthrough of that at some point. Maybe once the new Dragon Age game gets a little bit closer. They've started hinting at that now. Do we know yet, or at least suspect reasonably strongly, whether they're going to do the next Mass Effect or Dragon Age first? I think they're going to do Dragon Age before Dra or uh, Mass Effect before Dragon Age, aren't they? Or at least that's what people believe. Whether it's true or not is another matter. My index finger did start to hurt in Inquisition simply because just hold left click for attack gave me finger cramps. I can't say for sure if I had the same thing, Greeny, but... That sounds familiar. Okay, where's... Oh, Falkreath is this way. All right. Twelfth was in nightmare mode. I don't know anymore at this point, and that's why you play with controller. You think DA is going to come out first? Oh, that's... Maybe it's not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's going to be fun either way. It's still laying there. That's weird. The menu's prettier. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see that. Oh, what the heck? Is this fire still burning from the... Wait, what? What is with this sword? Huh. Okay. There are really only two games. How, Greeny? There are so many games coming out this year. What are the two games? I'm curious. I feel like I should probably be able to guess this, but I'm curious. Greetings, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. No, that's okay. I'm fine. Really, Greeny? I'm streaming. That means my brain's going a thousand different directions all at once. I can't remember anything. You know me. You know that. Tears of the Kingdom, okay. Is the second. That's fair. I haven't the faintest clue, Greeny. I don't remember things when I'm streaming. It's, it's too much for my brain to handle. Octopath 2 is already out, Nabi. He's already streaming it. I do remember that much. Oh, you're talking about Baldur's Gate. Okay, Greeny. But, see, in my mind, that's it, it only semi-counts because we've already had it since 2020 even if it's not complete. Hunter, okay. So that one sort of counts, but it's, I mean, we've been playing that one for years already at this point. And while I'm really excited to actually get to play the rest of the game finally, it, it's not quite the same as a brand new game, you know? It does not matter to Maik how strong or smart one is. It only matters what one can do. Would you please stop stalking us? Because I'm not obsessed with the Baldur's Gate series at all. That's fair. Honestly, Nabi, there's so much stuff coming out this year. You're better off. Don't look. 
your wallet will simply cry. This is the year, I swear to God, this is the year that every single game since the start of the pandemic that's been pushed further and further back, they're all getting done. They're all being released. And 2024 is going to be a desolate wasteland of zero game releases because everything came out this year. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Buggy. I've got the, the N7. I guess my mic kind of obscures it, but then I've also got this. I'm not sure if you can see it in this lighting. Forest Ranger Simulator? Honestly, that could be fun. Have you... Re refresh my memory, Greeny. I have trouble keeping track of the games I stream, let alone the games other people stream. Did you ever stream that other game that was about, uh, uh, what's it called? Firewatch. Did you ever stream Firewatch? Because I think that one would be kind of right up your alley. I've never played it myself, but every once in a while I think I probably should. Can I need you to beam me up? Excellent, Puggy. <laughs> that was primarily you, Greeny. Like, 99.999% you. And then the last little 0.001% uh, was Ultra. You both collaboratively got me that one. So thank you for that. Firewatch came out before I started streaming, I think. But you know it. Yeah, I really think maybe you should check that one out. I've seen people stream it before, which is one of the reasons I've never streamed it myself. Because I'm pretty well familiar with the story but I think at this point it's been so many years since I last saw it played that I could probably do it and enjoy it pretty well because a lot of the detail is gone at this point I was thinking that Winters I might actually do it as one of my YouTube playthroughs where I don't actually live stream it and just put it straight onto YouTube. I've got a lot of games in mind for that. I'm kind of looking forward to that kind of content creation because I can just, you know, set up a stream deck page specifically for recording local video. And maybe do, like, you know, take one of the days that I've got earmarked for other types of work and just sit down and play different games for, you know, two hours at a stretch. Then chop up the resulting videos into half-hour segments and upload each of those so that I've got ongoing series. That would be a really, really good way to make sure that I have kind of a backlog of content that I can upload over time without giving myself headaches and way too much work to do. I think that could be really good. Forest Ranger seems to be along the lines of a cleaner sim, but more like fix this campsite, take care of these animals, set up this beehive. That Actually, that sounds pretty good. I could see that being pretty fun. I think I've lost the plot here. What are we looking for? Speaking of losing the plot in games, it's not just Inquisition that happens with... Oh, right. We wanted to talk to the Jarl.
Solitude? I don't think I need to go to Solitude, do I? Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Teach them to stop paying me. Wow. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. All right, thank you. Is there anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. That works, Greeny. That, that, uh, that would be probably where I would put it to. On your way, then. Okay. Come and see me again, sir. Some use for you. Okay, out of the way, Serana. Thank you. Now, where is this steward person? Death blow of Ebernanit with explanations by the sage Geocrates Varnus. I like that these books are just scattered all over the place and I can pick them up because they're not stealing. What happened in here? Everything in this building is just completely trashed. Necklace of eminent deft hands. I started my journey in Octopath last night. It's so good. Oh, that's so awesome to hear, Winters. I'm still not sure yet about whether I'm going to stream that one or if I'm going to play it off stream and record it and put it on YouTube. Actually, I would love some input on that. What do you guys think I should do with that? Would you rather that one be streamed or not? I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl Dengear. Hey, Bowser. How's it going? Nixes, what's going on? There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Works for me. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Okay. May wisdom forever light your path. Hi there. Uh, there, th oh, thank I'm you. Oh, I'm sorry. Obviously, the cleaning staff is off duty. Okay. So, we have ourselves a buildable house. Oh, you've got to see it sometime, Ultra. It's so freaking gorgeous. Greeny, you must have clips of it, right? Could somebody grab a greeny clip of playing Octopath and maybe show Ultra, put it in chat here? It, it It's absolutely just breathtakingly beautiful, Ultra. It's really, really good. Haven't enjoyed walk... Oh, no, not Octodad, Nixes. Octopath. Octodad is a very different game. And yes, it is very, very weird, and I'm not entirely certain what the objective is. Honestly, I think Octodad is probably really fun, but I've never really considered playing it. Um... 
They really do have an exceptionally large but cemetery, don't they? Understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of the tragic life. Thanks for being my happy place on Twitch. I know I can always come here and feel better after hanging out for a bit. I'm so glad you feel that way, Ultra. I hope my new schedule does not hinder that for you in any way. I'm going to stream slightly later than usual tonight, probably 4.30. I can't go too much later because I'm already in the process of adjusting my sleep schedule. But I don't want to end right at 4 o'clock tonight. Just on the laptop at the moment while my PC is upscaling 75 pictures I made with mid-journey. My PC is lagging out right now because the video card is 7 years old. Oh geez, I'm so sorry, Nixus. I hope you get through that. I haven't been posting anything because I'm waiting to see what mid-journey does with the, um, you know, up, about improving the ethical sourcing of their training data for mid-journey. But it's fun to just play around with it and see the new changes. The new version 5 of the algorithm is pretty wild. It's really incredible what kind of stuff it can make. And I can't wait until it's more publicly usable after they inevitably fix the training data. So that it's not using contentious stuff. Do you hope they stop being rude to people? Oh, I, I never actually go to their Discord, Nabby. I just do, I have uh, the bot in my own Discord and I just have a private directory that I use and I just put stuff in there and then I paste it elsewhere if I want it to show up for people to see. I don't know if they've talked about it at all, Nexus. It just seems like it's inevitable because you know, there's going to be too much controversy and potentially, eventually, uh, too much legal action, too much liability for copyright infringement if they don't. So I am assuming, but I have basis for my assumption. Well, it doesn't really matter that much how the courts go. There's too much potential for people to take legal action, which is going to get expensive. And, uh, you know, if they keep getting lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit, it doesn't matter what the courts decide if they decide anything. They're just going to eventually fix the training data so that they don't have to deal with as many lawsuits. You can always count on companies to act in the interest of their bottom line. If it gets too expensive to do things the wrong way, they will do them the right way. And unfortunately, the reverse is also often true. I got a bit scared with what happened with Lensa. It made me feel extremely useless. And mind you, I don't even mind AI as a tool for referencing and things. Yeah. I, it's just this, it's a thing that we're going to have to get used to as a society, really. I'm not wild about, like, you know, chat GPT making writers worthless. I mean, it hasn't done that yet, but it is going to happen eventually. I just try to focus on how it's going to make me a better worker. So right now, I can still write better than chat GPT can. But it's a much better outliner than I will ever be. So I use it as an outliner, and that makes my writing much faster and easier. So it adds a great deal of value. That's a really weird wall of fog. What the heck? I have a professor that's encouraged us to use ChatGPT for our assignments. Interesting, Ultra. 
So does he accept things that are written with ChatGPT or written with the assistance of ChatGPT? Because I can't see myself ever actually using ChatGPT to write anything. At least not anything that I was going to genuinely use, like, that other people would see. Like, I'll use it to write an outline. That's fine. But that's because then I take the outline and I do the actual writing on its basis, you know? And the outline is still created with all of my ideas and input. I find it unbelievably useful for that. It's really, really great for that. But I wouldn't get it to do, like... I would never... Like, I keep telling you guys I need to write more short fiction for the... Uh, for the story time segments, I wouldn't get ChatGPT to try to do that. It would be terrible. I will do all of that writing myself. But I've already used it to outline a story that I'm going to write for story time. And it's, it's just amazing. As long as we credit ChatGPT, they're chill with it. It's honestly so refreshing that this professor wants us to try new things and explore new technologies. It also makes it pretty obvious where ChatGPT fails. Yes, that's true, too. Oh, did I? <laughs> I accidentally went back to Helgen. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Why is that, Greeny? <laughs> I, uh, well, yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I, actually, that would be pretty amazing, Ultra. I would love to see that. I think we edited things to flow better, but use ChatGPT as the backbone for the entire assignment. Yeah, and I, I'm with you there. I think that's the kind of thing it's really, really good for. In my case, personally, I would rewrite the entire thing so that there's not a single word left that it actually wrote. But it wouldn't be hard to properly just, you know, edit it so that it's better than it is. Because the thing with ChatGPT is that it learned how to write by reading the internet, which means that its writing skill is the average of everybody on the internet, which means that its writing skill, by definition, is perfectly average. So, if you want it to be good, you gotta redo it. Or at least alter it. But average, you know, you don't necessarily have to have every single word that's written be spectacular. Sometimes having that basis, just something so that you're not working from a blank page, can be completely invaluable. It's amazing. So I think it's a fantastic speeding up tool, making work faster and better. Seafood fraud is a significant problem in the seafood industry. It undermines the sustainability of seafood industries and poses a threat to public health. Consumers are put at risk when they unknowingly purchase mislabeled seafood that consists of low-quality meat ingredients or contain potentially harmful contaminants or allergens. Seafood fraud also negatively impacts fisheries, the livelihoods of recognized fishers and seafood producers, as it can lead to overfishing and depletion of vulnerable species and the destruction of marine ecosystems. See, now I'm grateful that I have no part in this. I do not contribute to this problem in any way, shape, or form. Because that sounds pretty terrible. You can use styles in ChatGPT. Also, ChatGPT uses the writing that is most upvoted. So the writing people like most. Yep. Yeah. What the hell is... What? Are... What are those things? What? 
What are these freaking goblins? You you leave her alone. Where'd you come from? I've never seen goblins in this game that look like that. Wow. Oh, of course, Serana created a goblin warlord zombie. It must be Tuesday. Uh, hang on, I missed a bit of chat there. I don't eat any seafood whatsoever, Nixus. Fresh or salt water. I tried GPT to use it as a more in-depth Google searcher, but it still fails. Yeah, I, I don't find it's very useful for that. Actually, uh, Microsoft's new like um, chat GPT Bing is better at the search thing than the regular chat GPT is because they specifically search with it. So we tested salmon samples gathered from sushi restaurants and grocery stores. Uh, I wouldn't call it a flaw so much as a an improvement myself. And use DNA extraction to determine the that the salmon species being sold were what they were supposed to be. Two salmon species sold as coho from the same grocery store chain turned out to be Chinook salmon, which is super bad because Chinook salmon is highly regulated as they're an endangered species, so someone way up the fishing chain did something shady. Oh, God. ChatGPT made five out of six trial work I had from IT company on the sixth one. It used on click instead of on submit. <laughs> yeah, I like using it for programming, honestly. I've got some stuff in the pipeline where I'm getting ChatGPT to help me code stuff for stream. I eventually want to use it so that I create my own custom alert system so that I can get off of using stream elements and stream labs and all those other ones and just to have something that's unique to the library. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to access ChatGPT4 yet. I don't know if it's publicly available or if it's still just in limited testing or what the deal is, but apparently it's supposed to be a massive improvement over 3. You feel bad about ChatGPT taking your code to learn from GitHub if you have any, or would you feel bad? Nope, not at all. Not at all. It's not like it's taking the code. And, like, code is kind of a separate beast. I, um, I think that's a better argument against AI art generation than it is programming generation. Because when you look at AI-generated art, I think of the example that Aaron Lore gave. He, he, um, he works with D, D Beyond and Wizards of the Coast. He's one of the moderators in their Discord and their chat rooms and stuff. And so he's seen examples of this where D, &D Beyond had to actually ban the use of AI generated artwork on uh, D, D Beyond because there were instances of people uploading artwork that they had gotten AI to create where there were still visible samples from recognizable bits of art used elsewhere, like it was recognizable because there was one piece of art in particular that was generated that actually contained the original signatures from two different artists. So it's not a case, at least not yet, where the AI is able to look at the art and just kind of learn the style the way a human would. It's actually sampling and reusing and adjusting. And that's not good because then, you know, you're, you're taking pieces of other people's art and reusing it. Um, that's, I think, less of a problem in programming because humans do that too all the time. There's really no functional difference between AI and human doing it. 
And also because with a piece of code, it's the output that you're looking for. It's not really the code itself. It only stores 10 gig from... Yeah, but it's still got that representation inside that 10 gigabytes. And I don't know for sure that it was Midjourney that created this particular piece of output that contained the signatures, but it did contain the signatures. You could visually inspect, compare, and confirm that it had the signatures from these artists. So, however this particular generator, whatever generator it was, was doing it, it was clearly containing work that was still recognizably copyrighted, and it was capable of outputting it, which is a problem. I got very scared with AI imagery because I tried Lensa to test it for me and it gave me back a breach of phone and social media privacy using artists I followed for years, my own art and such to produce the results. Oh God, Nubby. And when an app gives you back your own style of painting without you giving it to it, it was horrifying. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely understand that. Well, Sneak is improving very quickly. I think when I started the stream today, I had, what, maybe 16 Sneak skill? We've gotten that raised up pretty good. Or I should say 16 with an asterisk. Uh, I dropped my Sneak skill way back down because I made it a legendary skill. So I had gotten it up to 100 at one point, and then I made it legendary, and then it dropped out all the way back down again. And now I get to level it again. I would love to train a model on my own art for me, a closed system without internet, because I feel that'd be ethical. Yeah, it would. You could even have an open system that's ethical, as long as the training data is carefully... You know, if the training data is open, then there might be problems. If the training data is carefully controlled, then it should be possible. I don't see much difference between mid-journey and copying style or human copying. It's because when a human copies the style, it's not just taking a piece of somebody's art and plopping it into what it's generating. You know, mid-journey is doing that, or the gen the whatever the other generator was whether it was mid journey or something else was doing that so there is definitely a problem there and nabi does have a good point if you're not an artist that's affected by this kind of thing it's very easy to just turn a blind eye to the pain and the problems that it's causing other people. Yeah, but the situation with art and with code is kind of different. That's potentially true, Nixus, but I don't know. Oh, hang on. I think my audio's going again. I'm going to have to fix this. Just give me half a second. Okay, let's see if that did it. AI ethics, yes, the entire world is about to get a master class in it.
really want to fight that guy. I think we're going to circle around over here. Just lost the game. And we've got ads starting in just a few minutes. Okay. Um, normally, if the game were to crash like that, I would say that's a sign that I need to stop the stream. But we've got ads starting in just a few seconds. So instead, I'm going to take a break. Then we'll bring the game back up again. And I'll play for maybe half an hour more or something like that. Yeah, the game just crashed, Ultra. I'll be back in just a minute. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? unfortunate. Uh-oh. My, aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Unknown, they failed to notice my hands. Maybe they won't notice my face. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dolph Deer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. What have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's going to make the ship go faster, right? Accessible. 
Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. In all the worst places, there... Okay, let's get Skyrim going again. That actually messed up Vortex a little bit, too, so I have to relaunch that as well. Thank you, Eldra. Thank you, Nubby. Oh, weird, Bowser. First playing and stopping after a second. I haven't noticed that myself. Oh. Okay, hang on. I've definitely got some audio stuff. It's probably just my end, my speakers, but... Let me go and fix that real quick while we're just on the menu. What the heck, catfish? Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing this evening? What's going on? Catfish, how are you doing? Uh, could we get a shout out for Catfish, please? I would really appreciate that. Catfish is a friend of the channel and produces a lot of awesome content. What were you up to? What, was you, what were you streaming? Tell me all about it. How are things going for you? Uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single player story driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I throw in the occasional Lego build as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Uh, thank you very much for the shoutouts, folks. I appreciate that. Okay, so um, we are playing a bit of Skyrim this evening. Um, I do have a little bit of a welcome video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Raid and run? No problem, Timmy. No problem. Just glad to have you here. Okay. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Let's go for it. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. <laughs> 
Ah, oh my... Wow. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Okay. So we're just getting back into Skyrim. I had the game crash on me. Looks like my audio is fixed, so that's good. Thank you, Catfish. I appreciate that. So, oh, right, you're working on Subnautica. How did that go? How far have you gotten? I would love to hear all about that. Subnautica is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, we're all the way back here? Oh, jeez. I mean, it could be a lot worse. It could be much worse. We're getting to the end game, but you don't want it to end. Ah, but keep in mind there is also below zero afterwards. I know the feeling, though. It's one of those games. I just finished playing through both of them. And honestly, I already feel the urge to play it again. Hate to say it, but Skyrim's looking a bit dated finally. I've Honestly, I've been noticing it, too. Not so much like around here but for the last even the past couple of years anytime I look at the character models it starts to become increasingly clear you know oh this is actually heavily modded already ultra yes I do Now, maybe I need to go in and see if there are newer mods that make it look better. But, uh, yeah, this is already heavily modded. I actually, now that I think about it, I was seeing a news article earlier. Apparently there's a new animation mod that produces some pretty impressive results within Skyrim. So if there are better, you know, texture mods, better geometry mods for the characters and NPCs, and better animations, that would probably go a long way towards helping. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Magically, we've got a homestead. Lakeview Manor discovered. Now, we're not going to work on that right now. That gets to be a whole thing. I think we're going to go speak with the strangers at the Frozen Hearth.
what do we have here? Oh god, it's another... <laughs> okay, so these guys' bodies are just hanging out forever. And burning. I'm sure they'll disappear eventually. But it does seem to be taking quite a while. So anybody have any bets on how long it's going to be before Star Rim is announced? Star Rim, of course, will be Skyrim implemented in Starfield's engine. As seems to be tradition at this point. Twenty plus years? No, I'm not saying when it'll come out. When will it be announced? I'm sure it'll probably be announced within the first three weeks of uh, Starfield being revealed, let alone released. Five years? Really? You think modders are going to wait that long? Well, yeah, but Bethesda is not going to have anything to do with it other than releasing the games. Modders, yes. You think it'll come out in five years? I don't know. I don't know. We can hope so. That would be pretty cool. I'm skeptical it'll be less than ten years. We're talking about modders, after all. Who are mostly people that have other stuff going on in their lives and can't really devote eight hours a day for years at a time to a project. They are Super Bowser. In fact, they're still working, I think there's still a project ongoing implementing Morrowind in Oblivion. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. Well, true, if it's the very same modders, but, you know, as uh, was just pointed out, all those projects putting, you know, Oblivion into Skyrim and Morrowind into Skyrim and Morrowind into Oblivion, none of them are done yet. And I don't think those modders are going to give up on the projects just because there's another game. I didn't know about Skyblivion, but the Beyond Skyrim project started within a year of Skyrim's release. Yeah, true. And that's only really got Cyrodiil. Or like, uh, you know, the, the one part of Cyrodiil at that, not even the whole thing. Modding takes a lot of time. Now, better modding tools and better modding support, that'll speed things up, but I don't think it's going to speed up that much. Did they, Nexus? Is that something similar to... Like, I never heard about the Morrowind one. I actually played Daggerfall Unity, though. That was pretty good. Is it something similar to that? They are working on putting Fallout New Vegas in and Fallout 3 into Fallout 4. Yeah, I think I've heard something about that. 
That's an interesting project idea. They remade Morrowind completely open source code? Wow. Yeah, I streamed that a few times, Eltra. That was really fun. I eventually decided that I couldn't keep playing it because the dungeons are pretty much the focus of the game and I really didn't enjoy the dungeons at all, but uh, I loved pretty much everything else about the game. Might have to look into that, Nexus. That sounds interesting. I assume you have to own Morrowind, like a legit copy of the game on Steam or one of the other platforms or on disc or whatever, in order to make it work, which is cool. Because I'm pretty sure I've got three or four copies of it at this point. There are modders making a new Fallout game with the four, Fallout 4's engine called... Yeah, yeah, Fallout London. I've got people in my Discord very interested in that one. I'm curious to see how it does. It looks pretty impressive. I don't know that I would ever have time to dig into it myself. Whoops. Okay, I have a mod that makes those ghost arrows disappear. I was trying to get a sense for how quickly that was happening. It's happening pretty fast, which is nice. In default Skyrim, there is a... Yeah, see, it's already gone. There's a bit of a problem where if you don't mod it, these arrows will just basically... They will stay there forever and never disappear, and it can actually cause issues with your saved game files and cause bloat and destabilize the game and eventually make it unplayable. Oh, wait. We have to bypass. We don't want to accidentally run into the most annoying character in the game. Your follower cannot accompany you here. What? What are you on about, game? Is that Serana back there? Okay, Serana, what's the issue? Where have you been? Come with me. Let's go. Thank you. We're just going to Whiterun. You've been there before. Sorry, not White Run. Uh, Winterhold. That other thing.
What was that? That sounded like an arrow. annoying character in the game now. Oof. Flame giant. That's fun. I'll take that. I had no idea that was there. Nice little bonus. sure who that is. I think it's a storm cloak, but I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Hard to tell. There are several who fit the most annoying. Oh, but Cicero is by far the leader of the pack. No one really comes close. here. I, <laughs> I can see that, I suppose, but I never really spend any time near the screaming Talos preacher, so I, I don't even consider him for the list most of the time. Now, if you do spend time around him, then yeah, definitely I could see that. Just for a change of pace, I think we'll go through this route. I don't remember if we've done this 
in this playthrough or not before. Actually, you know, I guess we couldn't have. Because I would have the past discovered if I had. Wayward past discovered. There we go. Look at this. That's cool. We're right on top of one. Eastern Dwemer War Axe, nice. On a desolate outcrop beyond a wayward pass. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me, Super Bowser? Are you telling me that if you get to kill the Dark Brotherhood, you do not actually get to kill all of them? You don't get to kill Cicero? I think that might be the one and only thing I've ever heard that makes me actually tempted to join the Dark Brotherhood, honestly. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm glad I missed. That's a fox, not a wolf. Camp while he's at his wagon. Ugh. What a waste of a perfect opportunity. To be honest, none of the Dark Brotherhood and Skyrim were relatable, nor did they have in depth characters. Well, I certainly agree with you there. Dark Brotherhood and Oblivion was one of the most emotional journeys you had in video games in general. Well, that's impressive. I don't know if I would still want to join, but at least it sounds better. Oh, 
Hello. Where'd you come from? Beacon is lit. Where'd you come from? <laughs> no, no match at all. Found a way to make Astrid from the Dark Brotherhood a much sweeter character? Okay. I'll bite. How? Sightless pit discovered. Attempting to dive blindly into a treacherous cave. When I ended up in the abandoned shack, I hit her with the wabajack and turned her into a sweet roll. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that would do it. Hunter's Discipline. Recover twice as many arrows and bolts from dead bodies. It's not really relevant to me. Can draw up... Oh. Give that one a shot. I do like the draw speed. That's really nice. Ow. What the heck? Weird. Dizzy, welcome on in. Oh man, there are so many trolls around here. Oh, more than I thought. Okay, there's only one wolf, but two trolls. At least we don't have to go down there. For some reason, usually when I come around here, it's vampires, not so much trolls.
Mods were probably involved, honestly. I think I have a mod that makes the Wabajack an even better weapon. Still, that is a technique you could use if you got really, really lucky and if you happen to already have the Wabajack. Okay. Let's quick save here, because we don't know their intentions. Also, because it's been a while. Welcome. Let me know if you want. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. You. We've been waiting for you. Are you the one? Are you Dragonborn? Worshipper, this does not bode well. Yes, I am Dragonborn. Then it is true. This gift has been given to a mere mortal. We have a proposition for you, Dragonborn. A way to serve a power even higher than yourself. You if you are interested, come with us. Our leader will answer any questions you might have. I'm not ready yet. Very well. Speak to me when your curiosity grows the better of you. Remember? You're the one that told me to stay out of it. We may have to check that out at some point. At the very least, it might be some kind of weird evil cult that we have to exterminate. Or maybe there's some good story there, who knows. For now, I think we'll go hang out back at the college where we started the stream. Why is everybody here? Okay, Nasty fine. Business with that <laughs> Have a good night, Bowser. That's more like it. Okay. I think we're going to save here. So I'll quick save and I'm going to do a proper save too. And I'm going to have to... Oh my god, it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning. I ugh, I did not want to leave it this late. Okay, well... Um, we are going to have to go for a raid. So we're going to have to wrap up my nighttime streaming here. So let me get my list ready. And uh, I will be back... Not on Thursday. I will be back on March 31st around noon. All right, so... Let me see. We've got Hodon Kane playing some Warframe. Then we've got a bit of a gap up here. Um... Lunity is playing some Overwatch 2. Mandy is playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Actually, I wouldn't mind raiding Mandy just because she's one of my team leaders, and with the hours that she streams, I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to actually raid her again. <laughs> it, it might not be a thing that happens very often. So we might go with Mandy if you guys are all right with that. Plus, of course, she is playing Breath of the Wild, and uh, that's a pretty fun one that we're going to need to get back to soon ourselves. All good with it? It's going to be so nice being able to hang out at lunch. I'm glad I'm going to get to see you more often, Nubby. All right. Thank you folks so much for being a part of this last nighttime stream. Or at least, you know, not last nighttime stream, but last stream that began at night. 
and lasted until almost dawn. Uh, we're going to go raid T with Mandy. Uh, okay, so that worked, and I'll get you guys the raid call as well. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or if you've got emotes from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So we're going to go raid Mandy and see how she's doing with her playthrough of Breath of the Wild. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to be back. I'm taking a week off. And then when I do come back on March 31st, I will be a daytime streamer from that point. So I'll be streaming starting approximately noon. I don't know yet where my actual times are going to settle out. That's going to be a matter of some experimentation, I expect. Uh, but I'm estimating noon. First day back, it'll definitely be noon, just so that you guys have a target you can uh, you can aim for if you're able to be here for it. And I will be streaming until about 6 or 6.30 in the evening. So, um, streams, they're going to be fewer of them, but they are going to last longer. Uh, instead of an average of five hours, I'm expecting they will, pro you know, four or five hours, I'm expecting it'll be closer to six hours that I go. So I'm looking forward to that. It should be pretty fun. And I hope to see some of you back here. And I apologize if there are people that aren't going to get to hang out at all anymore. Um, you know, I was trying to avoid that as long as I could, but this is a change that really has to be made. So uh, hopefully I'll get to see you around sometime and I will still be doing long streams of the month. So I will be able to stream into the evening. I just won't be starting at 11 p.m. anymore and I will probably be ending closer to midnight or one o'clock or maybe two on occasion. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, well, you know, all the specific times and stuff like that, I, I can only really guess at this point because I don't know what my sleep schedule is going to be like or what my energy levels are going to be like. <sighs> Thank you very much, Nixus. So let me get my own raid message caught here or uh, copied here. Where did it go? There it is. And we're going to go pay a visit to Mandy and see how she's doing. Okay, there we go. So that's all copied. One way or another, I will still see you around. Excellent. I hope to see most of you. As many as possible. Because I'm going to miss the nighttime streaming. I don't uh, mind telling you. I like this schedule. It's just not going to work for me anymore, unfortunately. So, let's get over there. And uh, thank you all so much for being a part of this. And for being here tonight. I really, really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you much earlier in the day when I get back. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll see you again real soon around the end of March. Bye for now. Oh. Hostiles ahead. Hi. Right. Okay. Oh my god. Damn it, and Stara. Ah, oh, Jesus. Make little help here. over there. No. No, sir. No. No.